Too Much Podcast, episode 32. We back. What's happening, y'all? What's going on with uh, Aiden Ross and a lot going on right now? Aiden and Smack. Let's get right into it, bro. Hey, what's really going on, though? Because I, I really don't understand how Aiden Ross and Smack and just they just they worlds don't collide so yeah it gave me up because i've been out the loop all week i've been dj I've been academics at it again <laughs> academics at it again uh so how did this start this all started with aiden ross and academics they interviewed top five and top five said that they was going to uh, watch not them. five so yeah they uh they was uh they said they was going to watch the not like us video he said i'm about to do this podcast with aubrey I don't play about Drake, bro. We're going to watch the Not Like Us video, and we're going to do research on everybody in that video. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Pause. Pause all this shit. Pause all this shit. He said Drake paid all his legal fees. What Lord. the fuck? He's snitching on everybody, I will bro. add what in fuck? that I might have to cut out. He's just... Oh, yeah. So, oh, yeah. That's the only reason. That's the only reason Drake was there for him, bro. Yep. That's wild. That's mainly, though, bro. That's that's mainly as my fault. I'm, I'm yeah, staring nah, this shit the yeah, whole nah. way. That's mainly that he's out here, and that's mainly that Drake would the would, would would get him out. Cause like, bro, it's hard, bro. You you hit a kid, bro. You kind of lose your rep. I ain't gonna cap, bro. Like that shit not cool. That shit not cool. Nowhere, no city, no state, no nothing, bro. Like that shit. That's just a no no. Now the family spoke up about it. They like the family of the kid is coming at Drake hard right now because uh. Like this is what you like. This is what you just paid for to get out. Like, bro, like you just like this dude, her son. Like, like you're not even, a, you're and not like, even a killer. Like that's the only thing and, you ever did in your life. And it's not even like the 14 year old was involved in any street shit, bro. He just like he like literally on some wrong place, wrong time type shit. I right. think that it was like he wasn't a member. I think it was. I think people are saying it was mistaken identity. Goofy, that's some goofy ass shit, low key. Super but goofy. but yeah, bro, this is top five, bro. Well known, right, so, yeah, what happened? Well known scammer. I'm getting it. There he goes. Me and Drake are gonna link up. Me and Drake are gonna link up in a couple days. So we're gonna do this podcast. Oh shit! And we're gonna play around like this video. We're gonna look at every nigga in the video. We're gonna do homework. That's like a goofy fourteen year old YouTube comment. What? So, so we're gonna play around by Harvey. That's my bro. Give me Jewish brother. What are you doing? Yeah. I'm getting so he ain't slide on the person that actually like man. That was crazy. You try to get your get back and you ain't get your get back and now you saying you're gonna get your get back for Drake. What is going on with these? Okay, I think it's the second video. Wild. Second video. We go watch the video. Me and my bro Aubrey. Second video was they had smack on. He say Aubrey, he'll say Drake, he'll say Aubrey. <laughs> 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 what about he said, I'm looking for that nigga. And whoever, and he said, hey, and he, he said, 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 he 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 said, and he said, and whoever on the what stage, you're going to be looking at whoever was on that stage. Yeah. 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 Just I'm Jewish. Oh, they get the money? Yeah. I'm going to go to Toronto. Hey, nigga, I can't buy a type of dope. We're going to slap Fuck you, you can't. Do you mean out there? You can't even see the city. What you saying? No, what you saying right now, but fuck some people eat. And they got to go, so just know that. They fuck you. <laughs> 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 Everybody go tag him, and he, you pussy, B. 
Get in blood, Trey. He's not from New York. I don't give a fuck. I'm talking like a New York. They do it too much, right? Like, I'm not banned from LA. I'm not banned from LA. I'm not banned from LA, bro. I wish somebody would. I swear to God, I'm gonna go to LA. Nobody's gonna do shit to me. I promise you, bro. I don't give a fuck. Like, you think I'm scared of LA? What? I lived in LA for years and years and years. I'm not banned from LA. Fuck that old ass motherfucker on that podcast, bro. I'll smack the shit out of you. Well, not me, but I'm gonna have security smack the fuck out of you. Not me. I, I don't, I, you know, but I'm gonna have security smack the fuck out of you and beat your ass. It's that simple, bro. This is well, uh, I don't know if you call it. 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 I don't home and, and like bro you is stupid you playing with the wrong people right now you play you're talking to some people who don't got people who are just trying to get the check and that's it bro you got some people who are not trying to do that you got some people who trying to ride for their homies bro you pot you put a, a marker on a security guard's back whether that's you, what i'm saying that's not even your people. Not. like right exactly the fuck how you gonna put that shit on my security guard yeah. gonna do that that's some wild shit to say bro that's some wild shit to say they really know the fuck they not, bro. Yeah, no, they fuck they know the fuck they not because they don't want them problems. And then they not even some bitches. They just don't that's not smart. Yeah. Who the fuck think like that? Yeah, run this shit. I ain't old. Right. And I swear to God, and I swear to God, I'm gonna slap him. And even if his security is from LA, like, they're gonna get slapped too. Because uh-huh. he knows a lot of town security, they really gonna get smashed. There's no fly zone for him. He just has put himself in some equation that he can't get out of. Aiden Ross, no fly zone. Please let me know when you get to LA. Hey, the Ross, let me uh, let me give you a tip. Security get popped every day, B. Wait. Mm. Love for security. Oh, that's a fact, right? Hey, the Ross, let me uh, let me give you a tip. Security get popped every day, B. So come do it. Go to jail for the rest of your life. It's so worth it, bro. Your shitty life. Come on, let's try it. Let's 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 what make is some you magic happen. Then, if you come just on, try it. Resort At least to go that. to jail for what minimum five years in LA. What is it? I got the best lawyers of all time, baby. Let's do it. And I'm a low-key suit for that. You want to? I can't wait. Yo, let me get that clip again. Put that on my phone right now. Send that right to my lawyer. I promise you I'm serving you ASAP. Don't ever throw my life again, you big bitch. Go start a family. This podcast shit's not for you. I'm not I'm not a gangster. I'm not about that life at all. That's why I said security's going to do what they're going to do. But now... I'm going straight what you to say my security was going to do, though? You said security was going to do some G shit, right? You said security was going to get up on him and slap him up, right? So now we re- he say he, what he going to do. You talking about all this, I'm not gangster shit, I'm going to sue you type shit. What the fuck is it? What is the point of being aggressive in the why first did you place? Just say, why you did you just say anything? I hate exactly. niggas like that, man. Exactly. I hate that shit. That's what I don't like where the streaming shit is. Or people like that is going. What like, is your argument then? Exactly. You don't want you don't want him to podcast? Then why are you why don't you say that in a in a chalant way? Because he said that in a calm way. Why are you saying that in an aggressive fuck LA type shit? Why would you do that? But if he, you're not really on that mm-hmm. type of time and you just saying and you admitting you're not on that type of time, then why is you coming with that aggression? I just don't understand this kind of shit. I don't get that's do. what I don't I don't get why. Because he didn't even have to make that first video. Because Smack I'm barely saying. even said anything about Aiden Roy. Like, bro, they was he could have just left it at top five versus TD or Smack. Pretty much top five versus West Coast, whatever the fuck it was. He could have just left himself out of the whole thing. The whole thing. But man. I don't know why he felt the need to insert himself in the first place just to end up saying that goof. Like, bro, I don't. I don't. It's not even goofy ass shit, bro. Because you're it not expecting it. Is, it is. Before it. It's, yeah, it, it, it makes yeah. it goofy because of what he said before it. If it's he the, just said that, then yeah, it's not goofy. You're just, a billion, whatever, bro. Why is you popping your yeah, shit like that? I just that? don't get, yeah. That's what, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, because you're a civilian and I just don't get, I don't, a lot of these streamers, him specifically, bro, like, yeah. you can see it's hella shit. Like, these niggas blow up so fast, bro. They get, like, they don't, they're, it comes off as like, bro, you're so out of touch with like what you're even dealing with right now, bro. And it's like you making people think that they could just do this type of shit and just backtrack and it's all good. Like, nah, bro. Like, I lived in LA. Just stay, yeah. Just nigga, stay in your, just stay in your place, bro. Like, you're a streamer, bro. Like, stop trying to and stop trying to shit on niggas. Like, nah, that's what I also see. I see him doing that a lot, bro. Like, he likes to shit on people who do podcasts and shit. It's like, fuck your podcast. Like, I'm like. Bro, nobody care about how much money. Just because you got hella money and you blew up off of this stream and shit doesn't mean that you need to involve yourself. But is he even in a podcaster? S- 
No, he's not a podcaster, bro. Why he's a streamer. He started playing 2K. Why is he, he trash podcast? He just trashed out. He just I, it's this is something I just picked up on him, bro. Because he did the same shit with like uh he did the same shit with like Joe Budden. and like now, like when he sees people like specifically black people doing podcasts, I notice he downplays that she's like yeah. do your little podcast type shit. It's like I get like blah blah blah, however many streams, however many people watching me, blah blah blah. This the at the end of the day, bro. It's the same nigga who did the Donald Trump interview and then it was yeah. sucking Donald Trump the whole interview, bro. It's like he it's just weird, bro. I don't I don't like it. I don't like I don't like him. I don't like what he's becoming. I kinda saw I it's fucked up because I seen like I literally seen this nigga's like go from mm-hmm. just the funny mm-hmm. white goofy kid to this extremist type of behavior, bro. Like yeah. it, like he like he be on that Andrew Tate type shit too, yeah, bro. Like that, like he became like, and that's the shit. Like, it's like, bro, these niggas blow up so young, bro. They do not like have any. You can tell these yeah. niggas don't have any actual guidance. So it's like they, yeah, that be the thing, bro. They be, they be blowing up way too way fucking too young, fast, bro. bro. Yeah, like you said, they don't got no guidance. They don't understand how the world works. Really, they don't understand how to talk to uh people they yeah. so used to talking mm-hmm. to like not fake people but like yeah they just not used to talking to real people like like a real authentic yeah. person bro they don't they only don't talking to them through a screen bro shot. even the yeah. shit like yeah. Yeah, yeah like they don't know how to have a real conversation with somebody they don't know the things that you shouldn't say you know what i'm saying the consequences that some words or some sentences have you know you can't just like because people um from that world are so used to being on the internet and just yeah. kind of just saying whatever the fuck comes to their head but like you can't you can't do that because the thing is bro you that. think that you do that shit for so long bro like i don't even like that's i'm not even trying to put nothing on him bro like i'm not trying to speak death or harm on anybody but it's like bro you do that shit for so long you thought it was okay now you done you did it i don't even think he realizes he's doing this with the wrong people no, bro like these right. ain't the niggas like you don't like you think this shit's a game, bro? Like, yeah. yeah. And I'm yeah. not even like trying to like and make it game. sound like niggas is all hella gangsta and shit. Yeah, again, like, you're not. It's, it's like not, bro. you're not saying AD is gonna kill him. Yeah, you're exactly. Not saying yeah. Smack is gonna kill him, but like I said, your people that are backing you up are security guards that you're specifically paying. Mm-hmm. People that are backing them up are random people that you do not mm-hmm. even know who the fuck they can be. Not even AD and Smack could fuck it. Like, bro, somebody could just pop up on you, bro, and just yeah. just give it to Addy. There's not people like that for you, mm-hmm. bro. Like. You know what I'm saying? Like you think that Aiden got people in LA when they see when they see uh AD in them that they gonna text Aiden and be like, Hey, I got I got the Addy right here. Yeah. Da, 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 da. Like, mm-hmm. bro, you're not you're not realizing that you put in that kind of attention on yourself now when you're gonna be coming out here. And like I'm not even saying that, yeah. I'm not I saying you're not I'm not saying they harm, but like, like, bro, you just saying, bro, you putting a target on yourself. You think, bro, you think somebody like I don't know, you think somebody ain't you think you don't think niggas is loyal to them? I don't think he even thinks that like, like bro, oh, it could be somebody on my team who backdoors me and like drops my address mm. for a payment. Like, I don't even think mm. he thinks about that possibility. Mm. Like, I'm like, bro, somebody will turn from? on you quick, brother. Security could turn on you Where quick. Where's security bro. from? Because they'll turn on you real quick. Your security could turn on you quick, bro. Especially if you use an out of state security, which is a lot of people do. I'm sure he does have some personal security, but even then, bro, why would nigga? You even putting your security in that position, that's that's what pissed me off the most. I'm like, basically what you were saying, bro. Like, you put in somebody who has a whole life, probably a family, you just throwing them out there. They not trying like, to, they not, nigga, they not trying to slap somebody for you. They not like, bro, what the fuck are you even talking about? Why would you? That's the shit, too. It's just, like, childish, bro. Like, I don't care how much money you got, bro. Like, that's just childish thinking for you to even think shit is supposed to work like that's that, super bro. Childish, like, but he said he going to call the cops and tell, mm-hmm. tell his lawyer because of what ad responded but your first thing that you said was you gonna have your security go up to him and slap him yeah like you said you was gonna slap him first mm-hmm. that was the first thing you said you said oh you was gonna slap him. nobody even then said you said the security was gonna slap him like bro wait that's not something to get sued about right like mm-hmm. the fuck is you talking about bro like and they just they just say anything, bro. And then they play victim. Like, I, I like don't they, like I'm not a gangster. I'm not trying to. But why is you saying you're gonna slap somebody? Then folks you're saying you're not a gangster and all this, but you also want to display that. You, like that's the shit too, right? It's like you want to display that you have power in this. Like all of that. That whole last video yeah. talking about the lawyers and shit. Like, bro, you just make now a, you, like uh, make a video and shit on their stats. Compare your guys' stats in a video or on a live stream or something and joke like that. Do some joke funny you know shit, what I'm saying? Bro, like, bro. Stick to your lane of what you're saying that you're better than them, mm-hmm. what you're better than them. 
because you're saying you're better than them in, in podcasting that they should stop podcasting and then you're saying you're gonna slap the fuck out of them like that don't what like bro, say you're better than them at podcasting and then like go show some numbers or you're something. saying like, not like, even just the slap bro sense, like bro. even just like the fact that you think like you could call somebody a fat bitch like bro you're saying words that like even without you even threatening i don't know why you would threaten to put hands on somebody but I'm even saying. the way that you are talking like you fat bitch you blah up like bro you don't talk you don't talk to niggas like that mm-hmm. in real life i know you mm-hmm. don't like bro mm-hmm. that shit is just hella annoying bro and bro you talked about la low-key as a whole I like know, yeah. you tripping you at that, that point a, a, a homeless person can fuck you up at that point I don't know why you would even do that. I lived in LA, bro. Like, bro, like a homeless person will fuck you up over talking about LA, bro. Just don't do it. Just don't do it. It's like if somebody was just talking shit about Oakland, bro. Like, can you imagine somebody like just saying a whole bunch of shit about Oakland yeah. and saying they're gonna go to Oakland? Like, it's the same shit, bro. Like, what is you doing? Don't understand. He has a lot of moments where he just shows a total misunderstanding of what's actually happening. But I feel like the I lived in LA before is one of the main yeah. ones. Like that has nothing to do with what they're talking about right now, nigga. Like, but this is funny. What's the uh that shit. what's the name of the yeah. white boy rapper we was talking about a week or two or a couple of pod or two ago? Uh Aiden, Ian, Ian. Ian. It's funny. I feel like I just my mind went to the white rapper kind of in the comp here because I would say honestly even to give that nigga Ian some like credit it's like this feels like what's happening but it's even just worse because e- like when you're in rap and hip hop like even for a nigga like Ian who I'm mostly like just like what the fuck are you doing like you can rap a bar t- like there's this level of like you can like versus this nigga feels like Aiden just always felt like you got put on by black streamers particularly in the 2k space and you don't like you just have no understanding of the culture that actually made you what you are so this is how you end up in spots like this and it's just yeah yeah, no it's just interesting just even compare him to like the typical white rapper who just just by the nature of being a white rapper has just a bit at least more understanding of the world and you just don't see any of that i think like people like jack harlow and ian the people can call them whatever but i think they're at least in tune and they would never do some shit know like not this, to do bro. some shit yeah, like this. Exactly. Like, they know not to do yeah. it. We didn't say G Easy too when we was making up white rappers. We didn't say G-Eazy. about how we forget about G Easy from, from the Bay. He from the Bay. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Man, that's why that's why some wild stuff. I ain't know about none of that. Top five been calling J three. That nigga J three posted uh the screenshots. Top five was trying to call him backtrack. He was like, Call me, bro. So I feel like you know he trying to he trying to uh, settle things. That's the shit, bro. Top five. I'm telling you, bro. He a real troll, bro. Like yeah. it's just he got to be trolling, right? Like, With that yeah, whole, man, I just I gonna peep everybody. That's that was like a wow. Who says that? Bro? I just thought, I, yeah, I just think that. Bro, especially with Axe, Ax the only one who did my that's another, right, bro. Axe the always been the only one who gives this dude a platform, bro. Top and, five, yeah. As soon as uh, he gets out, bro, who the first person we see him talking to, academics, and now all this shit happening. And I'm just like, bro, I don't even think he realizes what just happened while he was locked up. I'm like, I don't even know why. I don't know, bro. Maybe he was just trolling. Maybe that's he why. He, maybe that's why he's trying to call J three and shit, or he trying to call people now and try to. Uh, Drake sure. probably told that nigga, bro. I, ain't gonna lie, bro. I was you just think about Drake, to tell you. Bro. You think Drake you gonna think... really do a, a stream with him and sit there and do that mm-hmm. shit? Now they ain't finna do that. When I heard that shit, I was like, oh, people was running. People was actually believing that shit. But I'm like, bro, I'm telling y'all, being tuned into this nigga top five, bro. This nigga just say shit, yeah, bro. bro. I'm like, bro, this nigga Drake is not finna. It's a whole joke like out there that people like say, bro, Drake don't really fuck with you. Drake don't really fuck with you. But it's just weird now because Drake paid his legal fees so it's like okay but still bro drake i don't think drake is stupid enough to even try to have anything brewing with the west coast right now at this point after everything that just happened i told that nigga to ship like bro i don't think top five he i don't don't, not for him not for him maybe if it was like 21 savage is like all right fuck it let's just go to war with it he'd be like all right fuck it let's do it but like top top five, tell the fuck, let's go to war with them. He's just like, no, no, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Hip hop. I already paid the damn hey. this nigga. You ain't getting me into some shit. <laughs> Hip hop. Yeah. 
That's, that's the craziest thing, bro. He just paid your legal fees and you instantly get out and do some shit like this, bro. I just Drake, bro. You need a Drake, bro. I'm just tighten up, bro. Just tighten up. You gotta tighten up, bro. Mm-hmm. You just gotta tighten up. Are they gonna turn this into a TV show at some point? That's the first moment. Just the way you even described that just fell straight out of a movie or TV show. Or like your nigga that you just tried to help out fuck you over as soon as he like they gonna turn this Drake Kendrick beef into some shit ten years from now. Probably low key. I can see it. Probably. Low key. Hey, it's, it's not over. It's it not don't over. seem like it's over. It, I don't know, bro. What do y'all think? Did we talk about but, that? Or oh, go ahead, my bad. No, you got you got do what? What I don't know if we mentioned that he's doing it, but what do y'all think happens at we talk about the Wayne stuff, I think, more. What do y'all think he actually does at the Super Bowl? Uh, uh, they said that mm, rumor is Drake sent a cease and desist already for him to not be able to perform not like us. For us? Ah, that's a rumor, though. Don't, that ain't verified. I wouldn't put it past him. I wouldn't put, I wouldn't it, past put it past him. him. But, but that um, could just be chatter. But I think he, uh, I think he does not like us, right? I think he has, he's going to at least throw in the hook somewhere. I think he should end it with that. Yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead. Yeah, say the certified lover boy, certified pedophile bar. Then he don't even gotta. The, the thing is, he don't even gotta say nothing, bro. He could have the cry. He could, bro. He could even if they make him take out all the pedophile shit, bro. What if this nigga just puts the mics yeah. to the crowd at that part, bro? Like you get to hear the whole stadium saying all of this shit. Still, damn, bro. That's hey, powerful. I'm ready for the Super Bowl, bro. That's powerful. God man. man. Hey, shout out to Kendrick. Well, what if Kendrick? He might. What if he just don't do nothing, bro? He got enough hits to not. Nah, you have to perform. You have to perform, not like us, bro. It's the biggest song. Yeah, bro. It's the biggest song in the world right now. They look key on him, too. No way they don't. They know why he there. They know what's going on. They know what the video. Mm. What else was y'all supposed to game me up on? I was supposed to get me up on something else. I forgot. Uh, you want to switch to basketball already? Or I gotta get ah, that's basketball. what it was. We got anything else to touch on? This, um, I feel like something else happened besides this. This was the Aiden shit. This the main thing. Genre. Just... Um, I'm thinking. You see what Woody did? The uh, no jumper interview. Yeah, I seen that. I ain't I seen watched it yet. That. I ain't watched the interview. I watched that. <laughs> I mean, I watched that Adam and Wack talk or Wack really getting on him for that shit. What was he saying? Say it. Uh, uh, no, nah, bro. Wack kept coming for Brick Bay. Oh, yeah, for, for Brick. No, yeah, I remember. Yeah, you're right. I he see wasn't that. even on the interview, but that. Wack kept saying, bro, y'all was out there Brick. riding bikes together, <laughs> hanging. <laughs> oh. you think I feel bad for Brick. Ah, <laughs> uh, shit. He's trying to be the podcaster, bro. Bro, oh, so I, I'm just figuring out who Brick Baby really is, bro. He got like he got Vlad interviews and everything, bro. Yeah, he just did one. He just did it. Uh, I've seen the clip, bro. He knew Nipsey. Yeah, he was cool with Nip. He uh, from out here. He from he from uh he from NorCal. You know, nah, he from the uh, uh, He from uh, LA. Yeah, he in the he from the '60s. Uh, uh, yeah, he was cool with. Uh, I think he, the crazy thing about Brick is I think he was cool with Eric Holder too. Oh yeah, yeah. That's yeah, what I seen. I seen him cool. talking yeah, about. Man, he Eric said, Holder. "Yeah, he was talking about Eric Holder used to be like a fighter or some shit. He used to be always fighting niggas." But yeah. that's like he got that little like interest in a uh, storyline type. I, that's bro. I always thought he was like way. He probably way older than I thought he was. Bro, I thought he was like a young nigga. Bro, I was no, like, oh, this nigga. Uh, this nigga he used older. to be. Uh, he went to. Uh, he moved to Atlanta when like in like. 2013, I think. Mm. So he's like locked in with the uh, like he's bro, he oh, locked in with shit. everybody down there. Like that's how Woody know him. That's how that's how like that's why he was there. He damn near knew everybody yeah. in that whole little blog thing. Like I like damn, this fool connected with everybody out yeah. there. Like he really is connected with everybody out there. Mm. They was they were saying it on the video. Like the people in the video was saying this shit. Yeah, you know. So that's why he always got all these connections and shit. And Wack used to talk a lot about him. Like he used to dismiss him a lot. Yeah. And I think it took Wack a minute to realize that he really is connected. And now Wack be like, <laughs> "We got to represent Brick, right? You know, <laughs> he's a representative of the West Coast. We just got to face that fact now." Type <laughs> shit. Right. I feel it. He do need to rap more. Brick need to rap more. He don't rap enough, man. He got some good songs. Uh, that's why. That's really why he's famous. Because he used to rap back then, even when he was in Atlanta and shit like yeah. that. Like, he was always a rapper first. You need to get back to that. 
Mm-hmm. That podcast gonna slow you down. I see it. Does he really? Yeah, because he probably making more money. I know, but you can. The bag is more bigger in rap potentially, but it's just more consistent. Nah, is it? If you already made your, if he, because I ain't gonna lie, a lot. Me coming from somebody the outside looking mm-hmm. in who's not in tune, I know Brick Baby's name strictly from podcasting at this point. Even if he was a rapper, I feel like a lot of people know him from podcasting. Hey, no rapper podcasting making little baby money. Making Drake money, making wait, stuff yeah, money. wait, he's not, not but, but I'm saying, no matter, I'm saying, I'm saying that's Drake, like the potential of rap the, back, Drake but more, Drake the potential for who though? That's the, if you started a podcast, that's true. Yeah, if Drake started, a, if Drake, would he though? Yes, Wayne yeah. started a podcast and nobody even cared, bro. That's different. He didn't, different. but. Is that it? was a little COVID podcast. He was doing that shit on the web. That should be even. I don't know, man. No, also, I still wouldn't be surprised. Room, remember? Also, I <laughs> bro, that shit did not. Shit wasn't no, the TV. He had a TV in the corner. It he wasn't the bro. That, shit was that was a real bro. podcast. He gave yeah, it that a that was quick. But here's the thing. Even that shit wasn't doing numbers. It's like where Wayne is at in his career. It probably still. He could still be making more money off of that than off of his. I don't know. Music, the music, the podcast, touring and music bro. and all that shit. Not the touring, not the touring, not the touring, but the stream. The stream, like just compared to. Well, the- but that's just that's only one part of the music money, bro. It's touring come with it, all that touring yeah. money. All that's that the shit. shit. Would you rather go on a tour where you're gonna spend hella money, or would you rather sit at home and podcast and make hella money? But some people just like to rap, bro. I don't know. Yeah. Oh, I get it from rappers. Yeah. Definitely. I'm yeah. just saying. No I get it, though. But like, if you don't want to do that, he's obviously yeah. potting. That yeah. means that's what you want to do. But like me, like y'all saying that, <laughs> I'd rather be fucking touring yeah. and doing all that mm-hmm. shit than potting all yeah. fucking day. Yeah. Man, I'd rather do that 100,000% for sure, for sure. Yeah. But yeah, you're right. If if that's what you want to do, just pod, that probably does sound like a way better option to do. Yeah, he probably, especially if he's older, bro. He mm-hmm. probably already had his journey with the mm-hmm. rap shit. He's like, yeah, bro. I'm yeah, hundred percent. And then, right. that, but then he could also drop a song whenever he wants. To, like he could still get a little bag off a of rap on the side. I'll so. be, I'll be satisfied if I get to that point. That's honestly, thing, bro, that's a cool point to get to. I think people will be overlooking uh, what a rapper career actually, a successful rapper's career actually is. He can probably think that it's like. Actually, you get how, how often you have to be bag. hustling. Like, I think people think you hit a certain point and then that money just start flowing in. Where it's like, I think it's a consistent hustle, really, no matter what. Like, Drake yeah. still got a hustle to keep his numbers right, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. that's the thing I think people mm-hmm. sleep on. So, I feel like if you get to a point with music where you could, especially in California and North, North Cal, bro, just because of our scene, like, I feel like. The goal for a lot of artists is actually like, bro, you able to make a decent living just off of doing features like that. Fuck the streams, bro, because streaming money is what it is. But like you could get yourself to a status and popularity to where people want you on their song, bro, for even if you have like a one year, one or two year run, bro, you could re- you you could really just run it up off features real quick and then mm-hmm. start investing in other shit. That's what a lot of people do, bro. They just invest in other shit outside of rap, like. That's where the money then then that's where the money starts really flowing. And you can start putting more money into your music, higher quality. That's a cool thing about yes. podcasting yeah. though, because it's starting yeah. to feel like you know how like them NFL play, like them sports players, they get to do their sports their whole career. Yeah. And then when they retire, they get to still be a part of that sport by like yeah. being like a, a fucking like in the, in the, like working for Fox or like ESPN mm-hmm. or some shit like that. And now I feel like rappers got that choice too. Before, when rappers retire, bro, it was done. It was rappers. Yeah. Don't hear from them. You don't see them really no more unless you're really a fan that tries to. Mm-hmm. Now, if you're a rapper, you can retire. You can stop rapping or whatever, and you can pod, and you can still be in the mix. How mm-hmm. much How much people do we see doing that now that we don't even listen to rap, but we used to listen to them, mm-hmm. and now we listen to them pod, and we listen to their opinions on mm-hmm. all the different things going on in hip-hop. Yeah. But that shit, like, podcasting changed the game for rappers, bro. Like, honestly, it's, it's making them still relevant. Created the lane. That's yeah. why the industry about to shut down, bro. He needs to keep making money by themselves without them. That's why we're about to see a shift over these next five years in the music, because, bro, I just know a disruption is coming, because yeah. if niggas start to feel like they don't need the music industry, then the music industry... I don't know how the music industry is going to respond to that, but from everything I'm hearing, is something going on, bro. And mm-hmm. the the labels and everybody who control the music really aren't. They're not happy with how things are right now. You think so? Yeah, that's they, why Atlantic just fired fifty. Yeah, they people. just fired hella. Yeah, they just fired hella people. Hella people losing jobs. 
artists yeah. getting let go from labels. Artists can't put music out. That's always been a thing, though. Like, yeah, bro, they want you to put show. They want to put your shit on hold. They can put your shit on. That's hold. That's scary, bro. right? That's yeah, it, that's what they did to uh, Mario Judah. Mm-hmm. Remember Mario oh, yeah. Judah? Mm-hmm. That, that's that, what he be screaming. God, through. yeah. <laughs> what are you? I'm trying to remember that song. He made. No, I'm not coming. Ah, yeah. uh, but. I, <laughs> hey, but yeah, they did that to him. They did that to him. They uh, that's why you don't hear from him no more. Nothing like that. They put all his music on hold. I couldn't do that, bro. They, I don't know what I'll do. Drop or nothing, something like that. I might crash out. Of, like, bro, that's why I can't. Bro, I can't. I can't just have somebody telling me what I can and can't put out, bro. Facts. That's kind of tough, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Like, I can't say that. I mean, there could be a way to have that, but like, it depends, bro. Like. You could tell me how to reconstruct my okay. You don't like this about my project, okay? You need a song. You need one song like this, but like to just tell me that like I just can't put some shit out, bro. Like I just made a whole project. Y'all don't like it, so I need to go make some. Like I don't know, bro. Having that much unreleased music when I'm already talented enough to be signed, that I don't know how artists be dealing with that shit, bro. When is it worse to have a label do that for you in the beginning of the career or? Towards the latter of the career, I think towards the it killed Lupe's career on album number three. Essentially, it's it's more of a yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, but yep yeah, on that ladder, bro. Because they because they make some people successful by doing that strategy, right? And that's why they be so confident. And then they try to make Lupe or somebody do that, that while they already like solidified. And then they just fuck up their music and fuck up their album. Yeah. Cause they have, you know, they blow up. That's how they make plant. That's how they make plants. Yeah, plants, yeah. Because they make them do everything. You know what I'm saying? So then they think mm-hmm. they can do that to everybody, but you can't do that. To it's everybody. just hit or miss. Yeah, that's, yeah. And I think they know that. I think they really just play a hit or miss game. It's like, okay, you didn't work. All right, uh, finish out your contract, and we kind of done with you. Yeah, yeah. Finding right, bro. They be on to the next one. Like, mm-hmm. like right now, I guarantee, bro, is right. Who? Boss uh, man, D Lo. They gonna try to. Female wise too, bro. Like Ice Spice, you can see you already see like Ice Ooh, Spice. De- sell, huh? our Ice Spice decline is starting to slowly happen. I'm not trying to prey on anybody's downfall, but like you just see like how quick the industry is like they gonna get it out of you and then they gonna turn you away. And that's yeah, where we were talking yeah. about like the little dirt shit on the last pod. It's yeah. like, okay, are you gonna be ready for after yeah. you not getting all this uh you're not getting all uh all of this label funding and stuff. And I don't know. Once they're done with you, bro, they're just gonna look for the next, the next one. There is some people who break through, though, bro. Like mm-hmm. that's, just, but that's like the one of ones, bro. That's like the people we see now. Like we see Future, we see Drake. Like just, yeah, it's the one of ones out there. But man, they didn't, they didn't contribute to Drake. I mean, Future. Yeah, they um, but yeah. but now, but now, that's what I'm saying. Get to get to a point where. Now, future a lot of on can go album. into a, in a meeting with a label and have some power. Mm, like, what you're saying. I don't like a lot of people, they get all this help from the label, but in 10 years, they're not the label. Yeah, I like it's a saying. lot of people that the labels just close the door on. You think Sexy Red? I was we talking about, I brought up Ice Spice, but I think, I think Sexy Red gonna be around in 10 years, bro. I, I think she might have. I don't know why, bro. I don't even listen to her music, but I just see like where. I just, bro, I can't. No, you can't not see sexy red. And I feel like she, out of all the female rappers right now, I feel like she might be the one that always has has a place. I think she might have some leverage with a label at this point. Can I keep it a buck? I don't see sexy red around like that. I always hear people I say that, bro. Sure, I I, I, and I'm not even, I'm not yeah. even like taking a stab at her, bro. Mm-hmm. I'm just being dead ass. I don't know if it's why. Well, maybe my algorithm is gonna show any females at all to keep it a buck. Yeah. I don't think I ever see females in my algorithm, but she, I just don't yeah. see her. I see everybody talking about how they can't miss her at any time. Like, bro, yeah. I'm so in tune, bro, and I don't yeah. ever see her, bro. Mm-hmm. I don't see her. I love. Mm-hmm. What is she doing? I think she's like, being honest. Who does she well, make music It's with? a deeper conversation, yeah. too. She, uh, I think she has the younger generation in the chokehold more so. than anything, oh, bro. Like, bro, I went to a, oh. I went to an A's game, bro, and it was right when the ski song, the, uh, the ski song came out, bro, and they played that shit at the A's game, bro. You just, bro, you saw every kid stand up and, like, I was like, God 
damn, bro. And it's like who made that song? Her? Yeah, that was yeah, that's like her. That was like the big oh, that's hit like that got her. her yeah. Songs. And then like, but she been on like a she been on a run, bro. What I'm saying, like, mm-hmm. it's just I don't know. It's kind of a deeper conversation with her because you kind of do see like the label kind of using her in a derogatory way, kind of. I feel like that's why I say I feel like she might have got it. Like I think. She, <clears throat> I don't know. Why did I start talking about this when I don't really want to even go into it, bro? She started a lip gloss line, bro, or a, a lip gloss line, and the names of the lip glosses, bro, are shit like um. Was one of them gonorrhea, bro? What the fuck? Was one of them uh Plan B to something? I just look it up, bro. I'm just like, okay, this is where shit gets weird to me, bro. And I'm just like. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my God, bro! Why did I? Why did I open this conversation up, bro? Oh, this is. Yo, funny. I see her, bro. I didn't uh, know she was on that. Shit. You see it? Yeah, she freaky. She on. real freaky. Uh, she freaky dicky, bro. All right. There we I didn't go. know that. Blue waffle. But why is the? Oh, blue balls. Blue balls. Yes, see on my period. But she can't do anything like this unless the label approves, and that's where hey, I'm like, bro. Like, why? That's Booty what... hole brown, bro. This is why yellow I, discharge is crazy. That, that's the one I was trying yellow to think discharge of. Yellow discharge. That's the one crazy, I was trying to think bro. of. Bro. What does that say? Purple, what? Wait. These are lip gloss. Like, what is that? What is that one on the bottom left corner? Why is blur? Pussy hole. Pussy hole pump. Pink. Pink. Why? But like, why would it? I'm really the only one that's like, what the fuck? Like, what are we doing here? No, yellow discharge is crazy. All of them are crazy when all of them are crazy when your main market is, is kids though. Like bro, yeah, when your when your market is kids, that's what I'm saying is that's where I don't that's where I feel like the labels are weird, bro, because they are the ones they need to approve this to happen, bro. I don't know if she came to if she went to them with it or the labels I wouldn't be surprised if the label came to her with it. Yeah, but it's yeah. the fact that she is okay with doing it that makes me think I was like, oh, she might have I don't know, bro. She might just play the label game and just always have a place because she's willing to do shit like this. Pussy regardless of regardless of the backlash that she's gonna get for it. And it's just, I don't know. It's kind of just where I have a problem with record labels in general. Cause it's like Bro, I can't even focus. No, I'm just reading these names <laughs> over and over again, bro. Just... Booty hole brown, bro. Booty hole brown. See. Sex on my period. I thought that said C on my period. Oh my god, bro. This is many. What does that one say above pussy hole pink? It's not. What does that say? Net. S. As many. All right, my fault, bro. Nah, get this, yeah, bro, bro, get this off my face, bro. I'm just going to keep reading this, bro. Oh, man. It's shit. Yeah, I don't know, bro. Whoa. I ain't know it, bro. She a freak as a way, bro. She. She freaky deaky. Crazy, cause she not even the best rapper. She, I was about to say she got bars. Uh, she she know how to make it. She, I ain't gonna lie, bro. She is. She made. She turned into a hit maker, bro. Like you could tell, she got like her formula. I feel like I ain't never heard her rap but when I think of it. She got that it's high not, pitch, it's city not girl even, type. It's not even that. Yeah, bro. It's like more. It's like anthem music, bro. I feel like like it's bars here and there, but it's kind of like who she, bro. No, hey. go crazy lately. Uh. Lotto, Lotto, damn near been. What's that one song she got? Uh, fuck, I the know one that it, blew bro. her up. Yeah, the energy song. The, the... Yeah, 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 bro. How it go? Hold on, hold on. Not the hook though. That's I'm not singing it. Hold on. How the other parts go? How the other parts go? <laughs> uh, it's because I know that song, bro. It come on the radio all the time, bro. Yeah. It come on the radio all the time. It still be coming on. That's the yeah. Too much. But I see like her uh I I just be hearing snippets, bro, and I like see her growth. I was like, oh damn, bro. Like her music sound very high quality, bro. It's like should be just be crazy, bro. When you see some, when you bars, see somebody like do, bro. uh I ain't gonna like bro, she, mm, I think I think her and Cardi, I think she's better than Cardi, bro. That's what I feel like. I think I think she can out rap Cardi. You need to listen to the new music, bro. I listen to Lotto, bro. She cannot out rap Cardi. Bro. Her new music? Nope. No, she can't out rap Cardi. No, I think no. she might be able to out rap Cardi, bro. No, she cannot, bro. What? What is what? Is, 
I'm not oh even trying to shit God. on Cardi B, but like what? Oh my God, Cardi B got a lot of good music, bro. What? Good music, but I'm talking. Yes, bars like heavy bars, hefty bars. I don't want to have this deep bag of bars, bro. I'm not no. Bro. I don't want to have this conversation. This, I'm not having this conversation. Why do I not got more bars than Cardi B? Cardi B, B doesn't write her own music, so oh I can't even have a conversation. We can't have a conversation. She has a team. She got a team of writers. She got a team of writers. Lotto writes all the music. Yes, a lot of bro. I think I think a lot of bro. No, you don't. I think Lotto. I think I think if there was two females that needed to battle, bro, I think Lotto is. That is that doesn't come in discussion when we talk about female rappers. We do not if we talking about. That's you want to see Nikki's Cardi versus Nicki? I don't want to see that because Nick because Cardi they can't already did that. And Cardi damn near beat her in the rap, and they had a rap beef, bro. What did they rap? When did they rap? They were throwing direct shots at each yes, other. Yes, they made direct songs about each other, bro. And and Cardi damn near made Nicki cry, bro. Cardi got it. She crazy, bro. She had a crazy career, bro. She damn near retired now. She done. I think Lotto could get her up out of here. Oh, bro. In, in, no, in a rap bro. battle, I think Lotto could get her out of here, bro. That's the underdog. Yeah, no, That's the underdog, yeah, bro. She got them 2024 bars, bro. She got them, like, uh, I don't know, bro. What I've been here. Everything Lotto, that she's bro. rapping about is only because Cardi and Nicki made this lane for them, bro. That's how I say. WAP. That WAP wave. Cardi started that shit. She brought it back. She brought it back. Lil Kim started it, really. She brought it back. You really, bro. Bro, I'm telling All you, bro. Right, bro. I... Don't don't compare a lot of the Cardi, bro. We're not doing this. You don't. I'm doing this for your safety. I'm talking at about, this point, bro. I'm talking you don't about want in that a rap going at that that Cardi B How fan base in a rap you. beef. You telling me that Lotto cannot put up a fight against Cardi no, B in a rap no, beef? No, I'm telling you right now, Cardi was smoke her. In a rat beef, bro. I'm telling you right now, she was smoke her in a rat beef, bro. You, this is this is, bro. There's levels to this shit, bro. That's S tier. I don't know if I can say that. Cardi's S tier, bro. That's the question I have. Okay, yeah, because especially because you said that. How does Cardi B compare to Nicki and like Lil Kim to you? Then with them, she's up there with them. Ooh. Cardi B is the one of the best female rappers. Cardi B's up there with Nicki. Yes. Has she she's put out enough her, music? She's not in front of she's not. Has she put out enough music to be up there with Nicki? Mm-hmm. How much? How, she, what, how much has she even dropped? How much official albums has she dropped? Bro? I, don't know. I don't think she Probably has a like lot. Three. I think she has a couple mixtapes and one album. No, she got like three albums. Nicki bro. put in way too much work. Nah, for bro. Nah. Nicki's better than her. Nicki's better. Nicki's Nicki's my female goat. I don't. I I. I got Nicki. I've never like been able to like 15. rap. Talking about rap, no, I've never been able to compare Cardi B to Nicki. I don't like. I have because they I, beef, bro. I've, yeah. That's what made me start comparing them directly after they was beef, bro. I can't even remember the songs. Nicki forgot. I remember Chum Lee, Nicki. That was Nicki's song. Chum uh, Lee. Cardi B only oh, has three projects. Two of those. Two to two of those are mixtapes and one album. Yeah. I can't put her up. There. I, I she still she still got she got a lot of singles and fuck. Yeah, no, she, she has, do. Hey, she, 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 she hey, hey, she, she, she got the best one who broke through. That's one who broke through. Um, but yeah, I got Cardi above Lotto for sure. And for your safety, just just say you agree, even if you don't. I'm about to start. No, bro, I'm starting just a war. Where where the Lotto even, fans at, bro? Y'all hear this, bro? They're the, they're, they're the Cardi B fans that is gonna admit to you that Cardi B is better. Watch, it's the same fans, bro. It's the Cardi B started this way, bro. They she the queen of all this, bro. Her and Nicki. Hmm. I know how they get looked at, bro. Oh yeah, I mean, I, this is probably just a me being old thing. Cause yeah, but I, I feel you. I'm gonna trust you on it. I guess the one album thing is tough. It's a lot of singles. It's like 18 singles. That's some goat like, shit, bro. One, two. You know how three. hard that is to pull off, bro. Yeah, no, true. Usually you got at least two though. Like even Lauren Hill got live. Of course she did. I could have swore she did. Damn. She got two mixtapes, bro. One album. Damn, I could. Have one of those mixtapes is 2016. So you know that was early, early days. That was that. Uh, no mixtapes post 2017. No music post 2018 for real. That's cap. Let me see. Well, besides singles. Since she dropped her album. Hey, I got some how much singles since she dropped her album. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, 
Yeah, my off though, that's essentially another project I forgot. That's what I'm saying, bro. Damn, she got hella singles after her last album. That's wild Damn, though. I... What's face? I guess because I just don't be tapped in. This whole conversation just making me feel old, but like WAP well, never WAP well, never dropped on my project? That's kinda crazy. That's main I respect it. That's like yeah, a Cardi been not dropping music as a whole thing. She that's it. She she surpassed the artist thing. That's the thing. She surpassed being an artist at this point. Nah. I feel like the I, the I don't think the label is pressuring her at all to drop music. Every time she talks about dropping music, she says that she on her own time, bro. Like, is that a number fourteen song in twenty twenty three? Uh, yeah, bro. How how is she not? I'm talking about, bro. Bro, what? We're the scene in a rap right I mean, it's here. Battle. It's, got, it's a song with Meg, so rap battle, bro. I think Lotto puts up a fight she put versus those. Cardi. Baby. I think she's the runner up. I you say think, you think Lotto can do that with Nicki? You think in a rap beef she can keep no, up? No, I don't with think Nikki anybody could did. keep up with a locked in Nicki Minaj because Nicki Minaj is a rapper, rapper, bro. Cardi made Nicki cry, bro, but I don't like. I don't make me do this, bro. But Cardi has a team of writers. Bro, stop! 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 That's just, it, bro. In a rap stop. beef, how can I not consider not, that? You lucky I, I'm not. I'm not in knowledgeable on. Cardi's writers, I bro, don't know about, I'm not sure about that, bro. I don't we know. Could get it? Much. We could do it right, bro. Oh, bro. Cardi has a team, bro, oh, and they are very good. She's very at the end of at the end of the day, she has to be. She still perform like, bro. That's the, she performs the hell out of everything she has, and I'm not saying she doesn't come up with any concepts or anything, but it's known that Cardi has a real team of writers. But she still got bars. What level herself. of writers we talking about? We talking like. Like in this, like I Kanye feel like has writers, I was about like, to say, so does Kanye. I was just in this, I think there that. is levels like there's Kanye and Drake having writers that feels like more of a collaborative process, and then there's a whole somebody writes all your bars. Yeah, you lucky I'm not knowledgeable on this, bro. And you just guessing, hey, yeah, we could pull this up the these only credits, right? You got on me on Cardi, let's bro. pull up these credits. Nah, bro, I that's say stop the credits. credits. <laughs> let's search. Kendrick got credits for a whole bunch of people on his. shit. Hmm. Almost all of these, I didn't know it's all the singles, but I'm trying to see this, how much different names I see in the space are features her last she's only done two solo singles since 2021 now granted one of Stop those the one, that came out, the one that came out this year hit number nine on the chart so like mm, bro sure. nah bro hold on bro niggas gonna think i'm a cardi b hater but nah bro bro this is the first song on her debut album written by one two three four five mm-hmm. six seven eight people on the written section bro they all participate on like one or two bars probably something like that bro. eight people you never know you never know it could be some light like that bro it don't got to be hefty it could be some light ah, that's tough i was hoping i was gonna scroll down and see like those kind of they were spread nah. out over all the songs but it's like nah. Nah, these are that's probably notes. yeah that's probably the whole album bro, a 10 people writing team bro nah that's stop bro this you can't come to this kind of conclusion in like five seconds like this bro this nah. takes but, but research it's, it's not this, no this takes a lot of time that she acknowledges her team, I'm pretty sure, bro. I think she acknowledges her riders. Like, bro, it's no secret. Same way Kanye did. And she's a really good, like, bro, she's still a performer and delivers that shit. Like, a lot of females cannot deliver the way, even with her riders, the way that she does. But if I'm talking about a rap battle, bro, I, I'm i talking about a rap battle. You, you barking at them. No, no. You I still, just I do, still right? know. I need to stop this. Just know. still know. Lotto's discography has its own page. That's that's a big difference. Um, only three studio albums, but still, yeah, yeah. What's the face having her own page? Just needs to get stuff out. Let's see how. What's her level of writing on her stuff? Who Lotto? I'm checking. Ah, there's a lot of names too. Ah, there's a lot of names too. Not quite the I same. I don't even know why you're names. defending this, bro. I would say this I'm, looks more like how typical, like, I just remember, like, most rappers, like, you go, most albums, you go here, like, you're going to see more than one name, you know, because usually you got niggas who's, like, ed, like editing your shit. So when you see two or three names, that's kind of, like, you writing your shit for the most part. There's a lot of these songs that kind of hit. A lot of them are features, though. A lot of the ones with a lot of names are features. Mm-hmm. Not all of them, though. Oh, Pharrell's name popped up. You don't want to. You don't want to put Lotto on it. Lotto will probably admit to you that Cardi got that. That's the th- that's the thing, bro. She will probably tell you, Nah, Cardi got that. I still got work. I still got work to put in. She liked the. She, bro. 
she gets looked up to. She like their future in Thug. That's Cardi and Nicki. I can't remember if they actually got a problem or if they cool. I, I can't remember. I think they had. I went to they got a song together. Pretty quick. They do have a song mm-hmm. together. But you starting beef, bro. That's the thing. They was fine. Lotto was fine in her lane and like you just be putting her in this lane, bro. I don't, I don't know enough about Lotto to comment on that part. I think the interesting part for me, and you could just be right. Again, I'm old. Is just her in the same conversation as Nikki. I don't think it's wrong necessarily. I just genuinely don't know. I'm just probably too old to know. But right. it makes sense. I mean, I think her. I think there's a lot of ways that makes sense, especially because Nikki be on. I don't know. I don't need to get in what Nikki be on nowadays because that doesn't necessarily mean anything about the rapper she is. But like, yeah, I can see. I see where you're coming from. I still don't think. What about little writers? Kids? Writers should not be talked about when we talk about female rappers. Uh, Unless you really trying to break down who the goat is, uh, I'm, I'm talking about a rap beef. I'm gonna talk about because okay, even know, okay, right? Cardi's writers with Lotto's writers. I think that Lotto has a fight. That's what I'll say. I think Lotto can put up a fight more than any other female rapper you out still, right now. Definitely over Meg. I, I, I put I got Lotto over Meg now. Lotto, Lotto is probably not even better than Megan. I, yes, she, bro. I'm not gonna lie. I, that's the that's what shout out to Megan to too, bro. That's, but, that's the rap beat she need to start man, at before she get up to Nicki. I think Lotto surpassed Megan music wise. Can't can't I don't know, bro. She can she do Ice Spice in a rap battle? Who Lotto? Stop. If Ice Spice should come with the thing, that's who she actually had beef, beef with. I think Ice Spice everybody, ain't want to smoke. Everybody we've talked about can can serve. I'll be in tune on my Ice female Spice, rap, right? bro. Bro, you don't know, bro. You don't know what Ice Spice got inside, bro. She got some. She got. That's where she need to start. I don't think Lotto is better than Ice Spice in a rap battle. That's where they need to start. She might win that. She might lose that. You're potting she right might, now. She oh, you're might, potting right now. She know, bro. Oh. She, yeah, she might win. She might lose. Stop it. She might. She that's that's the, the battle she. Needs Lotto to told win. her to get in the booth, bro. Mm. I think Lotto pulled up to her neighborhood or something, bro. Oh. Shot a video. No, she did, bro. <laughs> She pulled up to her neighborhood, shot a video in a, a, a tank top that said, get in the booth, bitch. A tank top that said, get in the booth, bitch, is crazy. I don't think uh, Ice Spice got in. Bro, Ice Spice cannot rap battle. I'm sorry, bro. That flow. You don't come with that New York drill. That flow. Mm-hmm. Oh, man. She got it, bro. The game turning on her, bro. People turning on her because of how she treated her friend on tour. You saw that? Yeah, bro. Why? You not tuned in, bro. Wait, because she did what? She canceled. She brought her friend on tour, her and friend. her friend came out and said that Ice Spice wasn't taking care of her. That they, they were saying that like uh, they wasn't feeding her. They was going. To she dinner. said that on the tour. Wait, what you mean? This all this all just happened, bro. Oh, bro yeah, that's... Ice Spice lost hella followers over this. Man. Yeah, bro. Ice Spice. You know what she, she needs to do? She's going to be back with Taylor Swift. She need to, I was just about to say, she needs to do a, a collaboration with a high-ranking artist because she tanking right now. And YG need to do the same goddamn thing. I'm tired of seeing these two people who are the best. You know, Ice Spice, one of the best female rappers out right now, and she's not doing what she can be doing. And it's the same thing with YG, bro. All right, I'm serious with YG, though, bro. YG need to do a collaboration with, her, like, a, with a high-ranking artist. Yeah, bro. YG I don't want to talk about this. Just anymore, needs... Jordan thinks that Kendrick didn't need to shout him out. He didn't need to shout him he out. For sure, YG just needs. Said, shout out to my boy. Is YG like signed you. to a label? If YG signed to a label, I don't blame him. I blame the label. They probably just not put in. I'm so. He probably I'm... needs a bigger budget, bro. I don't think my brain cares about labels, and it should. Yeah, bro. you need to, bro. It's, it's like a, it's a big part of all know, of this, bro. bro. Like... It's like with with athletes. I don't ever remember what college they come from, bro. I swear, I can't. Some specific yeah. things my brain does not care about for some reason, bro. Like when I see stuff like YG sells what AK in his first week, that doesn't mean that YG is not popping. That means that the label is not pushing YG. That's what that means, bro. That doesn't mean but, that YG is not popping. Point? Everybody knows, like, bro, I seen YG come out on multiple stages, bro. Everybody knows, like, but he way too deep in the game in his career to be claiming any of this on his mm-hmm. labels, right? Like you no. need to be in charge. That's where a lot of people are. Unless you are a Kendrick Drake, then you kind of are in this place. Like you, unless you get to that level, you kind of do get stuck in this that's place. That's true. 
that's true. I think a lot of them just like shit. At least like they got the label. Like I don't know, bro. They get money. Like when they do them first week sales, bro. People like YG are getting so much money outside of rap to where I don't think they really even care about their how much they sell the first week or how much their numbers, how much albums they sell at this point, how much streams they get because there's always going to be a bag for YG outside of rap at this point because he's a figure. Like, he's a staple at this point, bro. Yeah. It's just... I think he into that fashion shit, man. Mm. I think he got a clothing, clothing line, right? Probably. Mm. I don't know. I think he do. Um, it just be... It be it be getting to me when I see that, bro. You remember when we was, like, sophomores? Mm-hmm. He, he dropped... Um, what's that shit called? Uh, man... Well, that was uh, the album, My Crazy Life, right? Yeah, my, my crazy life. Yeah, 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 my crazy life. And bro, that that album was insane, bro. That man, everybody was yeah. trying to pretend it was a blood, bro. Yeah. Everybody was singing uh, uh, bees in front of everything, bro. I'm bulling. Yeah. They were saying bigger red, bro. bro. They was picking back <laughs> being bull, bro. Everybody was saying all this shit, bro. Like everybody was, bro. He had everybody on that shit. Like I'll never forget that YG wave, bro. That that shit was wild. That shit, and then to see him selling eight Ks, man. Hey. The fuck happened? I still listen to him. I listen to the album too. That shit nice. I still listen to him. All right, bigger question here. I didn't realize that eight thousand copies are good enough to hit one fifty one on Billboard two hundred. Hey, so he still eight thousand is decent nowadays. That's the thing. I thought niggas was saying, killing him like he was on some JoJo shit from Run's house. Like I don't know, man. I, no, man, yeah, he's Billboard. Like... You hit what billboard. Do think and... Kendrick's influence is. That's what I'm saying. Like ten thousand sales. Come on. Not at all. Come on. Okay, let's be for real, for real. Like one or two k. Numbers. If, yeah. Like yeah, one or two. That sounds a little like. Let's keep yeah, it a buck. Maybe he and ten k would have sounded a lot nicer than eight k. Yeah. No. I I feel you on that. I don't even hundred percent know if that's true, but that feels more closer to. I thought niggas was on some different shit. I guess I just saw the eight thousand number and thought something different. They get music off is hard, man. If you get off 8,000 copies in a week, and that's hey, 200 that's in all. the world, man. Sure. Shit. I'm trying to remember who just sold. Um, there's a high ranking artist, like super high, that just sold like 30, 30 or 40. Mm-hmm. I think it was like 30. Oh, uh, somebody did 30,000. Re- I did see that. Who was it? Um, I can't remember. Somebody did just do numbers. Bro. Yeah. I just saw that. But like that, like that, like, bro, people used to do like 100. 200 sometimes on some crazy shit and it's just that just doesn't happen really no more i feel like damn what's that straight streaming numbers ain't what they used to be now well that's what nobody really knows what an album sale what how much streams equate to an album sale it's like it's murky there's not an exact number that the distributor or that spotify apple music and all of them can give you like what determine how much streams determine an album sale it's like it's murky waters every time like it's hard to tell how much albums you're actually selling because there's no clear explanation on how much streams equals album so because you would think an album so is if they listen to the album full a Mm -hmm. whole time but they're doing the amount of songs that are streamed that's not necessarily that's not necessarily an album so it's like you got to get a certain amount of streams so if a song is 11 songs if the album is 11 songs and they get 11 streams on different songs, even if one of six streams is on one song and five streams is on another song, they count that as an album because it's eleven songs. As an album sale? Yeah, is that what you're saying? Uh, that's yeah, I, that's what I'm saying. I don't. Yeah, my fault. I, I think I butchered that. You're saying if uh, if people just listen to like eleven songs uh-huh. and it's not the whole entire album, but the album is eleven songs, mm-hmm. are you saying they count that like as an album sale? Yes, that could count as an album sale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I see what you're saying now. Okay. That can count as an album sale, but also I don't know, bro. It's wow. tricky. It's tricky. I don't it's, get the numbers. Yeah, it's I don't, get where I don't get think it, nobody but... really gets it. And it's like that's what a lot of artists are frustrated with too. Mm-hmm. Where like nobody really gets like how much streams am I actually getting? How much what is determining this album sale? Like, I don't know, bro. It's some weird shit. Yeah. The album say just you wish it could just be as simple as it was back then. It's like, bro, how much people bought your album? Because mm. like now you could just oh, that's too easy mm. to manipulate for me too. It's like, bro, like 
god, this just is a stream. Like you could just have a factory of people streaming your album, bro, and that's album sales. Yeah, like, like it's just hella ways for them to tamper and play with it. That's probably what YG don't got no more, bro. So people tripping off him selling AK, but he probably just don't got the machine like that behind him anymore. But he probably cool. He probably don't need yeah. that shit. I'm pretty sure. He's cool. <laughs> okay. Is That's crazy, crazy though. So, being that deep in the game, how much? How long has he been rapping? Like a lot of years. So, almost twenty years, probably. This shit is confusing as fuck. Right? Cause like, yeah. when did when did Tooted and Booted come out? Shit, we twenty seven, bro. So, I feel like Tooted and Booted came out when I was like ten, bro. Well, I might be tripping. Let's see. Like 2007. 2010. Oh, okay. No, I was like, yeah. No, I was like, yeah. Up, my bad. How did they come up with this number? Why is it 150? Uh, it's pretty much 150. So he's been rapping for like 15 years. Oh, probably, he, but he's pretty sure he's been rapping before that. Yeah. Like, I'm pretty sure that was also his first biggest mm-hmm. hit, tooted and booted. Bro, that's probably when you really feel like your rap career starts. Whenever your first, that first one. That's that probably first like, one. Yeah. The first one that mm. catches the attention of the labels. That first one to change your life is mainly, bro. Some people don't get that. Some people do it just yeah. gradually, mm-hmm. and they they get that fucking. Hit. But some people really just get that hit, that life changing mm-hmm. hit. That's sometimes that's all it takes. That's the craziest thing about rap. People be coming and going off that shit. Mm-hmm. That's the shit, bro. When you make a song like Tooted and Booted, that's gonna be played forever, bro. You think that nigga's gonna care about only doing eight thousand per week? Still like, performs that. He can still perform that. You still getting paid every time somebody plays that in a club. Like, imagine just... still people wanting you to perform a song mm. you made okay. in yeah. there fifteen years ago. That's crazy. Chill. Unless my math is wrong, bro. Eight thousand album downloads is fucking twelve million listens, twelve million streams. Exactly. Like that's, bro. That's wild. If I'm That's doing, a lot of I might streams. be doing all math wrong, but pretty much it's 150 streams counts as a download, essentially, of a song, and 10 songs counts as an album. So, 1,500, so stupid. <laughs> 1500 streams what? counts as an album, So, which to me is like, where the fuck That's, does that never come That's from? ridiculous, That's bro. That's why, so, that's why I was hesitant to say, I was like, so if you do 11 songs, like, bro, so even if somebody listens to those 11 songs, yeah, that's, that's not even an album, so, oh, bro, that's so, nope, that's yeah. Crazy, they gotta listen to 150 times essentially. They gotta listen to every song 150 times. Now, I think, yeah, I think I've read that if on Spotify, like if somebody has Spotify or Apple Music streaming, like if they have the service, like they pay monthly and they download it, I think that counts as just a straight up 150 streams. You know what I mean? Like if I download your music, like yeah. on my Spotify, um, mm-hmm. like with my Spotify premium yeah. or whatever, I think that counts straight up as 150 off for it. I think that's the one saving mm. but still most niggas do just not pay for spotify and just listen with the ads so yeah that's just crazy bro that's wild that's me that's why people be dropping right. i think eight thousand records is 12 million streams man that's why people that's drop amazing. singles because if you drop that single before the album you could rack up you that's could that's boost that. the sales a little bit by time and drop all that all them plays from the singles go into the album sale numbers Trick game, man. He did, bro. He Fun. dropped a song with Lil Yachty and uh, what's that? Baby Face, right? Detroit. Oh man, you gotta fuck this. This be hitting like Bruce Lee with the net shit. Hey, another one that got their own. They be on the independent shit too out there. Everybody in Detroit got a distribution deal, bro. That's what I noticed. All them niggas got distro deals. That should be crazy. Mm-hmm. Bro, you think. You think Lil Yachty, uh, you think Lil Yachty, like, how do you, how you feel about him, bro? You think he's, like, up there? You got him up there now? At what? Just being like, a rapper? I'll like, do you like still this. look at him the same way you looked at him, like, eight years ago? I'll put it like this because I had the thought earlier when y'all were talking about, y'all talking about the, women, the female rappers, I think, but talking about how, like, Drake and Future, like, kind of the space that they were in. And I'm, as y'all said it, I was like, is there any actual, like, new rappers that fit in that category but the only nigga i thought of was yadi was right Uzi. yeah like he because i was like i don't even well, think Uzi. yadi got that shit yeah oh, Uzi. that's who you saying yeah i think oh yeah i i put uzi way over yadi yeah, right i don't i i don't uh, i'm at the point where i don't really look at yadi as a rapper no more like that what you mean 
Nah, I feel like he's grown. I think he's grown into more than a rapper. And I don't, I don't know, bro. He's a rapper, bro. But I, I don't think his music has gotten. I don't think his music has made a jump since he started. I don't want to say I look at him in the same way because I used to, I used to be a hater, bro. Like on all of that shit, but it's like. I hear what he does now, bro. And he's kind of like, you can tell he's trying to like find his style. And I think he's more at a, I don't give a fuck phase. I'm just going, I'm going to do what I think is cool phase, which is a cool place to be, which is a cool place to get to. But I know to get to that place, like, oh, this nigga has other, he has a lot of business going on to where he could just do whatever the fuck he wants in rap. He doesn't really have to deal with the pressure. I feel like he doesn't have to deal with the pressure like uh, that a lot of artists, strictly artists Mm -hmm. have to deal with. But like I don't know, bro. Like I feel like Uzi out of that class, bro. Uzi and Twenty One Savage became yeah, the. They like the they bro. They the ones who like solidified themselves as Kodak. like real artists. Kodak too was in there. Yeah, Kodak too. Young boy, young boy. They love young boy out of that though. He took over like that year, bro. After, technically, nah, nah, nah. nah he nah, was nah, a little nah, after. Same one, same one. Was one he? year he after, been one or year two after, years yeah. after. Yeah. It's not next generation. Yeah. yeah. These people nah, well, young yeah, young boy is the one. I think young boy's past. Young boy started his own, bro. He's mm-hmm. young boy's on a different planet, bro. Mm-hmm. That's some whole other shit. And that's what I think about young boy. Doesn't feel post. Well, they used to call it post McConan, but it really just feels like post future. He doesn't feel post future like a lot of the other niggas do, if that makes sense. But like you said, mm-hmm. not enough time for it to actually be a different era. But I think that's why he feels different. Cause our man, his like. It... His early come up felt like the same time. It was like it was just like a year or two after. Yeah, he was hella like, yeah, like, like, like sixteen like, when he dropped that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like he made overdose. He was like, yeah, he's stupid. Yeah. yeah. He's like fifteen, sixteen. Yeah. yeah so he been here for a minute. He been here for a minute. And the same thing kind of goes for Uzi. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Same thing goes for Uzi. He's been here. He was coming up the same time. He was like a year or two after Thug too. Mm-hmm. Him I feel like Uzi and, and Youngboy came up at the same time, bro. Low key, right? Yeah, damn near. Yeah, I can see that. Young boy just wasn't on the double XX. He probably could have been yeah. on there already. I just Who's... think that's the thing. Young boy, I don't think Young boy ever did he ever even go on that shit. Young boy just been on his like Young boy has had his own establishment for so boy. long, but like he never really needed any of this shit. Mm-hmm. That's just just kind of that's what puts him on a whole different level. Shout out to Young boy. But I guess I guess I could say Yachty get into that level too, just in his own way. Just like it's not. It doesn't have to be the music that carries Yachty the way that the music is going to be able to carry Young Boy forever, because, mm-hmm. bro. But like Yachty, I didn't expect this for Yachty. Yeah. Is what I think. Mm-hmm. I just I didn't expect. I feel like he's becoming a boss now, and I didn't. Expect yeah. This. yeah. Mm-hmm. But it, it's hella. It's cool to see, bro. Plus, he's a right. He's a good like, bro. He wrote the he City Girls caribou. anthem, bro. He made Caribou. Uh, you know? What is it called? I think that would be a really good songwriter, actually. Yeah, bro. He um, writes hella songs. He made like, a song for Drake. Like he made a whole ass song for Drake before. Like there's a there's a reference track that you hear. Mm-hmm. Like it's oh, I've heard that. Yeah, yeah you heard that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. you hear. Uh, Yanni made. Yeah. I don't know how how long the reference track that he. I don't know yeah. if it's the whole song or what, but that shit was pretty long when I was listening to it, bro. It yeah. I just feel like he found his lane without having to, without having the pressure of having to put music out. Like, bro, he like you could just tell how he drops now, bro. He just drops what he wants to when he wants to. I respect mm-hmm. that. Side note, that's why I don't think it's not, that's why I think it's not weird to bring up the writers when it comes to female rappers, because I feel like it's just, that's just a rap thing. Like, y'all was just like Drake song, that's just like, yeah, this nigga, you said Drake, right? Or do you? That's just like, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was a completely, one. yeah, and just they, like, a complete reference track from Yachty. It should happen so much more in the industry than we think about, even with your favorite rappers, you know what I mean? Yeah, facts, for sure, for sure. And, but at the same time, though, like I don't, I dismiss it, but I don't dismiss it when we talk about goat talk. Like, yeah, no, when we talk that. about goat talk. That's when it comes right back into discussion. Like, nah, you got writers, bro, and he don't. Like, he damn near automatically qualifies over you. If you got writers, you damn near qualify. You don't qualify for the goat talk, that's and that's makes, just that's what comes with that. That's what makes the two thousand, like the mid two thousands, or like like the post aughts, like the post whatever the early two thousand was. It makes that era so interesting because it's just. Kanye and Drake are so important to where hip hop is at, and they both clearly like have you know what I mean. And it's like, but I don't know. I think Kanye has too much writers though. Yeah, I can see that. I think, but also I don't think Kanye all that great of a writer too. 
sometimes when you can tell the ones that he he wrote himself versus what other niggas have wrote on it's like oh you kind of need this sometimes but i know what you mean mm -hmm. but i don't know kanye early come up was still like goatish enough for me to him to be solidified oh yeah but no, I think that's the thing. He's such a creative person mm -hmm. musically. I just think he makes the discussion. I think Kanye and Drake both make the discussion just so different. Because with Kanye, yeah. like, how do you say this? Because I think, like, Kanye's a fine, like, Kanye's a good rapper. But mm -hmm. with Kanye, it wasn't, it was never about how good of a rapper he was. Like, why his music hit, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, like, in the, somebody, I love college dropout. But there's just definitely moments there where it's like, oh, yeah, Kanye learned how to rap. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> and it's just, but it's, yeah. again, still fucking hits. Like, you know, all these songs still work, but there's still those yeah. moments where it's like, yeah, just, oh, this is a nigga that's really good at making songs. Like, kind of, I don't know, same way that Travis Scott probably finds himself in nowadays, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And it's just, it's always going to be an interesting mm -hmm. thing with Kanye, because you can tell with his first album, and probably even most of late registration, he's writing a lot of it. But you can feel the change once you hit, um, definitely once you hit, uh, what's the shit called? That's my favorite one too. What's the album called? The Flash and Lights and all that. Uh, what's Flash and Graduation. Lights? Graduation. Right. Yeah. Definitely feeling oh, graduation is starting to creep in, but definitely by the time you hit eight oh eight, and definitely beautiful dark twist pants. Like, oh, he's got a lot of people writing for him now, but I don't know if the music necessarily suffers. Like one of his my favorite songs from him is one with Cuddy on it, and like you can tell, like Lupe and Cuddy wrote most of that song on Beautiful yeah. Dark Twist of Fantasy, but I don't think I think the song's better for it. You know what I mean? Mm hmm. It's interesting. Let's let's make this talk useful then. Who's the best artist that has writers? Kanye? Is Kanye the greatest artist to ever live that just did it off of writers? Drake, right? You think Drake over Kanye? No, I think Kanye, but bro, Kanye is a better artist than Drake. Like if because yeah. okay, Kanye is not on my top fifty list at all. Like he's not he's not going to be because he has too much writers. And I and Drake doesn't have enough writers for me to put him on there. But I feel like um, I feel like if if I was to let Kanye be on that shit, he would be top ten. Yeah, and um, Drake still wouldn't isn't top ten. So that's I, I got Kanye above I got Kanye above Drake. I got Kanye above Drake on my shit. Uh, I think Kanye is one of my favorite artists. Even though I listen to Drake a lot more, I listen to Drake so much more. I know so much more in Drake song. But just one of those things that I got to just give to. Drake's on a different spot. I feel like y'all was talking about that a little bit last night when we was playing. But uh, Drake is just such a... You know, I was talking about how Kanye changed it because I feel like it's the first time where, like, yeah, it's fine that Kanye's not a great rapper as long as the music's great type shit. Drake's mm -hmm. on that other side where it's almost like all of the markers for how we determine whether an artist is, like, good, like the, the numbers and everything. Like, he does it, but does it to a point where, like, it does mm -hmm. it makes it irrelevant. If that makes sense, he gets to a point like again. I feel like he yeah. talks about it by the time he gets to the point where he's making playlists more than albums. Like it's such a change to the industry, but also feels like such a not rapper shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. But like I don't know how you, I don't know what you do with that because obviously it's successful and obviously him and Kanye are like at the forefront of what music's been like really sounds future for the last like decade, 15, 20 years now. So it's like, yeah, how do you reckon with that? Because again, like it makes sense to me that you would say kind of. Neither one of them holding a place probably in the top ten. Kanye probably, if you were able, if you're willing to put them on, despite the writers, but they're just so important to what hip hop is now. You know what I mean? It's an interesting. Yeah, no, balance. for sure. I was. But. My bad. No, yeah, you good. I was just about to say. Um, I think that uh, was that was the third artist I was going to name. I was going to bring him in this conversation, and I just fucking lost him. Um. Mm -hmm. What as a writer? Or yeah, yeah, writers? yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Kanye Drake, uh, Kanye Drake, and then there's one more. Um, I'm trying to think who's the no but, name. Who's the no name that has them? Um, damn, bro. You know what? I I is lost. I it's lost. <laughs> I had it there. I was trying to think of it this whole time, and I had it there. I was smoking, just trying to think of it. And I could not fucking think of it. And I thought I had it. And I just, oh, it just slipped my mind. There's another person with uh, writers, bro. Who? Drake and Kanye are not the only pre people with no, writers. They're not. But I think that's the other weird part of the I'm trying to say people on that level, though. Yeah. Uh, is that a lot of it we don't know about, too, though. Like, there's just a lot of people that have writers that we just don't know about, too, right? Oh, like, my God. 
Like, I'd imagine a lot of, uh, I don't know want to say no names. I would say there's a lot of rappers out of Atlanta who have a lot of I remember. Of oh, this is going to be funny. Cardi B? No. I can't say his name. Who? Diddy. Diddy? Oh, yeah. The, yeah, Diddy ain't never wrote shit. He got hella, bro. He, yeah, yeah. He got hella. He got hell, bro. He was up there as a rapper, bro. Mm-hmm. People used to really listen to people had Diddy posters because of his rap. Mm-hmm. What happens when you the competition? Birdman? Nah, Birdman probably. Birdman. Jesus Christ, Mikey. Uh, <laughs> Just saying, man. Uh, Jay-Z, Jay-Z kept his clans at least a little bit clean in that scenario. This nigga Diddy is just, you know. Uh, What's another CEO that I rap? Besides Birdman. Birdman, definitely. I don't know. I feel like you would pick out some of the... I don't know why Fat Joe popped into my head. That was the first name. I don't know if you would, though. I honestly don't know. He just tried Jermaine Dupree. Oh, that's a good one. Jermaine Dupree, bro. He done wrote a lot of hits. I was hit. rocking with So So Death back in the day. Had niggas writing for him low-key. Mm-hmm. Shout out to all the writers. Shout out to all the writers. We going we gonna to get on that. What's the other thing? Real quick before, I was going to say anybody before we leave music totally. Uh, new new future? Any, any thoughts? I still haven't heard it yet. still haven't heard it, bro. That shit go crazy. I ain't going to no, lie. I still, I need, I need to stop doing this to myself. It had to grow on me a little bit. I'm not, uh... Had to grow on me when I first. I just wasn't in the right mode when I first listened to it. But once you start, once you play that new feature in the car for the first time, bro, mm. that's when you figure out. That's when you're like, okay, yeah. I'm gonna do that today. I'm yeah, gonna do that. Guy, it's definitely a car listen, bro. It's yeah. Good. Okay. Shout out the future. Sure. I told future I could see the future. Uh. Told my bitch I love you for I knew. All right, y'all want to finish up with some Man, shit thing? They got some shit going on. Oh, wait, what's happening? Yo Gotti. What happened with Yo Gotti? Wait, he got the... Well, he Who he beefing with right now? Nobody, it's the, the Dolph case. Is the Dolph case, right? And yeah, they said Yo Gotti's brother put the... Or Yo Gotti's brother put the hit out or something. Oh, that's what it is. That's yeah, right. It's, okay, it's right. crazy over there right now. Man, shout out to Gotti. I used to listen to him. Tough. Hey, he a real goer though, bro. I don't know if that was the time to shout out Gotti. But shout out Gotti, bro. If he that shout out Gotti, he don't got nothing to do with that. If that's his better, that's his better, but he don't got nothing to do with that. Mm. Him and Dolph was beefing when he when they, they That don't mean that he got something to do with that. Shout out Dolph too. I'm not gonna Rest in peace, Dolph. Shout out Dolph. I'm just saying so for so. It was the time. But shout out both of them, bro. Shout out to both. Fuck all that shit. Shout out to both. How about that? Fuck all that beef and shit. Shout out both of them. Rest in peace, Dolph. My fault for not starting off with that. I should have started off with the rest in peace, Dolph, before I said shout out Gotti. But it is shout out both of them. For sure, for sure. Because I used to listen to Dolph a lot, too. But the Dolph way was crazy. The Dolph way was mainly, but I never got into Dolph's music. I ain't going to lie. The Dolph way was mainly, but I felt like he was a hook king. Yeah. Right, he had nice ass hooks. Shout out Dolph, man. He had nice ass music. But Gotti had a wave, bro, that 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 was like international. That shit yeah, was Dolph was Dolph known for the independent game yeah. too. Like he was really on some independent shit. That's where they whole beef started. He didn't want to fuck with them. Like he was really on his own grind. I was never really in tune with they beef. Yeah. That shit serious. That shit hella yeah, serious, yeah. huh? Like yeah, yeah. They saying that it, that's the is directed to that. Uh, like, that's sure, that's the sure. root of it. I think that's the root of it. The the fact that Gotti wasn't trying to sign over there hmm. early in his career and kind of just went his own route. And Gotti's brother, what did Gotti's what yeah, did they, they say um, about Gotti's brother? Gotti's brother put out the hit on Young Dolph. Like he got charged for that? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. And uh what well, the two shooters are, they're on trial right now. Two shooters, two shooters on, on trial. Two, and they're yeah. saying that Gotti's brother is the yeah, one that because one of them, yeah, because one of the shooters is snitching pretty much. He's telling everything. So now Gotti's brother is he under trial too? I'm pretty they sure. Got him? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Mm, that's yeah, mean. He just told it all. Ah, uh, man. You still never know though, bro. Yeah, you don't. You still you never just, know. Yeah, that's shit. Once you snitching, bro, you could just be saying anything to get yourself out. A hundred percent. You still never know. These people be saying anything. Mm. 
I'm gonna see how that shit pans out. That's when is this just all going on right now? Yeah, this is yeah, this is all unfolding right now. Damn. Hmm. And then Gotti's out the way. He's not he's not involved in none of this. Nah, I need mean, I think Gotti's yeah. at a level now where he Gotti knows like yeah, he can't. I think he's at a level now where he for sure separates himself from this. But it's just hard to if you got family in the mix too. So it's like, you yeah. know, people are automatically going people are automatically gonna start connecting dots even if they're not there. Oh and that's you. just the that's just the reality of it. I don't think he would involve himself in that. Yeah. Nah, definitely definitely not in the nah, I don't think he would do that. It's just fucked up. I want better. We need to be better. Too much rappers, bro. Too like, much rappers going, man. Nip. He was out there doing a uh, turkey. He was doing a turkey drive out there. That's how they knew he was going to be in town. That's the type of shit be like, bro. Pop Smoke. <sighs> bro, Pop Smoke and Nip were at the top of their fucking career. That shit mainly, bro. The Nip one is crazy, bro, because Nip was really going. Because Nip is crazy because he's been around our whole lives, and I feel like we've always known who Nipsey was. But that last, like, that last He was last finally starting years, to grow bro, on like, us, bro. Saw... Like, for reals, for reals. Because, like, we out here, bro. Yeah. My fault, my fault. No, no, right. But, like, he out here, bro. Like, yeah, that's what you mean. Yeah, bro. That shit, that shit just happened, like. That shit all happened hella quick, bro. Shit, that's what I say. Like, what he was chasing, like, he damn it was getting to where he was chasing to. And then... Mm-hmm. That shit happened. It's just that shit's just fucked up, bro. Hell yeah, man. It's getting tired, man. Tiring, bro. But the same thing with Pop Smoke. He was hella young. Stupid oh. young, man. In his own house. Some crazy shit. Yeah. They got PMB Rock while he was still young. Yeah. Got a lot of people in their youth. That's the main part. Before yeah. they even move, a lot of people before they even hit their prime. That shit was crazy. How old was Biggie? Because Biggie Pac and Pac was like, was like, was like 25, younger, right? 24, 20, I think there was 24. like 23 and 24. Like they yeah, because Biggie was younger, right? Yeah. Well, yeah. yeah. That's mainly, man. Everybody always goes in their youth like that. Like, bro, that's so young, bro. 22, 23, 24. That's so fucking young, bro. You start to see that that's shit now mean. as we get older, bro. Like, that's why I look at all of this shit different now, bro. I'm yeah. just like getting older. It's like, damn, bro. Like, bro, was how old when he got killed? Like, mm. yeah, I even looked at Tupac and me. I was like, you look at that shit growing up, bro. You mm. feel like that shit said, like, them niggas is hella old, like, mm-hmm. grown. But then you get kid, to that yeah. age, bro. I think, like, bro, when I was 23, like, what the fuck? These still niggas was, bro, these niggas was kids still, bro. Like, that shit. Shit, I still feel young sometimes, bro. And I just like, Gosh. I mean, we is young. So, like, it's yeah. just mainly how young 22, 23 yeah. really, really is. Mm-hmm. When you look at the whole fucking aspect of the whole thing, man. man. So much years to still rap. Nick was only 24. That shit crazy, man. Wait, who? Big, big, yeah, big. Wow, crazy. Uh... And like, and the same thing, like with with Mad Dre. Like, I feel like Mad Dre and Nip, like they was both at the pinnacle of their career, bro. Like they was both right there at the peak, and that shit was gonna probably grow, keep growing, bro. Like the peak was just gonna keep getting higher, bro. <laughs> that shit, dang. down south and up here, man. Losing people left and right. That shit sucks, bro. Shit sucks. Not only for their community, but just for the rap game as a whole, bro. That shit sucks. <sighs> How we get to that? Uh, How we get to this? Hawk and Biggie, bro. I mean, bro, I don't think. Uh, they were the first ones. So, like, bro, I feel like rappers have a target on their, their back. How, how do you Basically, we're saying, how did rappers get this target on their yeah. back because you don't see other you don't see r&b artists singers and stuff dealing with this ad not saying they oh, don't bro, deal with nothing they rap, deal bro. with stuff but like but that's just is it just because rap is just intertwined with the streets is it just inevitable for it to be like this i mean nah, it's for surely not inevitable i don't think so i was just thinking i think people need to just it's not even on them i don't yeah. i don't know what it is to tell you the truth I mean, you can move smart, you can move smart as smart as you can, and shit still happens, bro. But to move smart is to diminish 
as much possibility of things happening of things happening and people need to always remember that shit and that is not speaking on nobody that passed mm-hmm. like on, on, on like you know what I'm saying shit happens shit shit happens like that ass man shit happens like you get caught any fucking where that shit is crazy how easy that shit happens and that's why I'm saying bro you can't do nothing about it but at the same time the only thing you can do is just stay on your 10 and diminish as much possibility of the shit happening more you can eliminate a little bit of that possibility by staying on your 10 and I'm sure that they was doing that shit too yeah. Shit just still happens. Probably, yeah, shit still happens. So, ah, but, mm. but you see the rap, you see the rap community nowadays. Like, I don't know, bro. They act like they don't like that shit, but they like that shit. Like the That's fans it, yeah. and People everything, addicted bro, that they shit, addicted bro. to that they shit. They that addicted that shit. to watching videos about that shit. The war on Chicago. They like all that shit, bro. It's like that's why it's West. What makes it really toxic because they. Like people like to talk about this shit now on podcasts mm-hmm. because people like it. Yeah. I feel like we was talking about this not that long ago. Like people like people like this kind of shit. So it's just like becoming a uh, it's be- becoming content, low key. Yeah, it's becoming, it's becoming it's content. Becoming content based off of yeah, that's mainly. It's it's benefiting off other people's trauma. But what do you say when the people who you're benefiting off of? appreciate or not they might not appreciate it but like that shit's giving them more attention yeah. so it's like now it's it just trickled down bro because now the 17 year old bro who's about to start rapping like he sees that as a lame bro like so instead of going away from whatever neighborhood problems he might have who he has beef with for whatever reason instead of like seeing you're on the rise and going away from that niggas jump into that and even if you go away from that shit even if you push yourself away that don't mean that show whoever you got problems with is gonna push that shit away. That's and facts. It's just like, bro, like That's it's fine. the hate, like, bro, hate is real, bro, regardless of the reason. But like, some shit you don't even fucking remember. It's just, yeah, that ass. Some shit you don't remember. Like, that's just the, it's the fucked up thing. And that's why you gotta move the fuck away from your city as soon as you get a little bit. And don't take nothing about it. That's why J Bo's smart. They both smart. He went, he went to Vegas. That's the smart thing to do, bro. That's the smart thing to do. Get out of your city as soon as you can. Get out of your city. They used to tell Duck, um, you like you gonna leave? Like you know, and he used to say you never gonna leave Chicago, bro. Like I just I don't get it. I don't get why people don't want to leave that shit, bro. And you know, and you know people in your own city just want to fucking kill you, bro. A lot of people get comfy at home. That's the thing too. It's just it's, it's a stubbornness, bro. So it's like that. Yeah, there that they be. don't realize mm-hmm. though, bro. There's so much more to every single fucking city. Yeah. There's so much more to life than every single fucking city. Like niggas they really don't, don't realize. be seeing flights and niggas really don't be seeing shit, bro. And they be seeing nothing but the shit that they be around. Yeah. So they be that's all they fucking know. They don't realize yeah. that they could live that they could damn near live without any without the worry of any animosity if they just went far away not saying that they don't still have shit to worry about but like i don't even think they're thinking of their life without without this animosity i think it's hard to even break out because of the, the yeah because yeah. they ain't never man because they never yet bro because they never experienced Experience shit man. yeah but then it's also a whole thing once you do experience it bro like they got to learn how to move like that's where a lot of niggas, like, you see a lot of rappers get arrested when they leave their state for the first time, whether it's touring or whatever the fuck it is that they're doing, because they just now, for the first time, learning to move out of state. It might not even be them. It might just be their entourage, but, like, it's just, yeah. it runs hella deep. Mm-hmm. What are you about to say, Mike? My bad. No, you're good. It's not the same as institutionalization, but I feel like it has, like, similar echoes, like, in a similar oh, sure. way, but just, um, cause even, like, I feel like I was bringing up niggas from Chicago, where it's, like, Chicago City is literally built to keep all of those people in like this particular part of the city like you know what i mean like even the way the freeways are kind of constructed it's like it's built for you not to be able to get out you know what i mean like in like legitimately but i think a lot in america just the way american culture works and just the way america just in general works it's like it's hard like everybody goes like love it or leave it like you can just go it's like it's hard to get from one place to another like like, we live, like, it would be hard for me to live somewhere besides, like, it would just cost a lot of money to get from being, you know what I mean? 
and just Start the way right. things work versus like other countries where you can kind of hop on the train and get to where you want to be but it's just like it's so built within and you see we see it a lot on the basketball side where um you'll see a nigga who gets a scholarship to like from california to some school like in the midwest like north midwest like in dakota or some shit like that or in texas or some shit and they last like a month and a half and then they back you know what i mean playing for Solano mm-hmm. or playing for one of the local schools because it's just ultra shot it's shot yeah bro. it's too much and i get that shit bro like don't get me wrong like i get that shit and i get having family and i get having everything you got and i wanted to leave and i get, like bro trust me i know what it's like not seeing shit i know what it's like like saying you ain't never gonna leave your shit but like bro when you actually do kind of see some shit, bro, and you actually do get out of that mentality, and you just like, you get to the point where you see, where you see other shit other than the shit that you've seen your whole life, and you see other shit, you like realize that you can be in that kind of environment because you probably don't think you can at first, but you realize you can do that shit, and that's when you like, that's when you abandon the mentality of like shelling yourself into a like isolating yourself into like one like just fucking city bro like that ass i know people who like never when you when you like when you leave for the first time bro and then you just keep going and going and going yeah. because that shit just so much more fucking fun than just staying out here bro not even look over your shoulder, just like, bro, just being somewhere different, bro. Right? So, for sure, bro. Not having to look over your shoulders is a real fucking thing, bro. That, like, mm-hmm. nigga, that shit is so much more comfy when I'm, like, out of me, out of, here, out bro, of, not here, not in my fucking home city, bro. Home when city. I'm, like, I'll not say, not I'll like say that. even just the way that California's built, or just mm-hmm. the way that we built over here, just like, mm-hmm. bro, like, nigga, it's not even like you could leave Fairfield and then go to somewhere like, Somewhere like con, like bro, you gotta go even further than that, just cause everything is so close out here, bro. So that's why, like, you see niggas like moving to Vegas and shit, cause it's like you can't even just, you gotta lead a whole NorCal or SoCal to really get away from this shit, because all of this shit, like, it's just, you can find a nice neighborhood in California, but niggas is still gonna be able to, niggas is still gonna have access to you pretty much, bro. It's for like sure, you really gotta sure. lead a, you really gotta lead. The state, I feel like so, leave your so. state at least for a little bit. Just for a little bit, you just gotta see some shit just to experience it, bro. Because being shut up in a home city all fucking life, bro, that ain't it. I'm telling y'all right now, that shit is not it, bro. I got to the point where, bro, shit, I get a big enough bag, I'm gonna be at this bitch, bro. I promise you, and I'm not gonna be too far, but I'm just you feel me? You don't need to be in the same fucking place. Out of here, California boy, this shit only going up out here. As soon as I get a bag, I don't know, bro. You see a lot of people outside of California, bro. Like, you notice people age so much more gracefully who live outside of California. That's why a lot of people move out of California when they get older because the stress of living in California as you get older, bro, you could see that shit catching, like, that shit catches up to people just like off of that alone, bro. It's just like, I don't know, bro. That's what I'll be thinking about. Shit ridiculous, man. It's like two there's very little space in California. That's not just super expensive to live in at this point. Making it work. Yeah. Uh... Like basically you live in your city to the point where the police know your all the fucking police officers know your fucking face, but <laughs> you just need to get out there, bro. Take <laughs> no cap, bro. That shit when you, you yeah. As soon as you are a recognizable face, honestly, yeah, you just yeah. need to go like, bro, you a recognizable face. Yeah, you just, yeah. People are starting to recognize you walking around going to do little shit, bro. That's the, that, that'll be my first sign when shit, shit goes like that. And like, people that I don't know know me, that's, that's just going to cause me paranoia in general. It's like, all right, yeah, it's time to get up out of here because you never know who. Mm-hmm. I mean, you never know who. I don't know, bro. That shit. Rapping, bro. Rappers, rappers gotta think about a lot of stuff that the artists don't have to think about. There'd be some rappers that be too juice that like never experienced shit though. That be trying to like pop in, kind of like uh trying to experience some shit, trying to ex- like uh that life. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, that's the well, that's that goes back to what the media. That's what hip hop media pushes though, because 
Like, nigga, there you go on. So, like, bro, I can't rap about it. You might be a good-ass rapper, but you just rapping straight bullshit. But, like, to make niggas believe you, what do they got to do? It's too late. They got to try to jump it's in. Too late. But it's not too late. You too know late. why it's not too late? It's always too because late. Because once they make some money, basically, they just, they, they're getting extorted. That's really what's going on, probably. But, like, you think, like, niggas is... Once you get once you get a bag, bro, and you that person with a bag, whether you bout it or not, like niggas, like, and you got niggas, like, niggas is gonna look at you that way, and it's, uh, I don't know, bro. You're gonna, of course, you're gonna jump in to what's gonna get you more clout, and yeah. the people around you, whether they believe what you said, whether they know that you bullshitting or not, if you the if you the meal ticket, if you the way for us to all eat then everybody's just going to kind of be on board. And I feel like, I don't know, bro, that's why you're going to keep seeing rappers who jump in that shit late. Yeah. Like, that's not going to stop. If you're over 17 or 18, it's too late, bro. I yeah. don't give a fuck. Too late. Yeah, you, nigga, niggas is jumping in at 21, bro. Like, it's too late. Too late. Stop it. Stop it. It's too oh, late. Dude. It's not going to stop. Let's talk about basketball. It's not gonna stop. Let's talk about basketball. <laughs> Let's talk about that um that trade. Yes, sir. Y'all need to game me up on that. Yeah. So towns. I think it's just towns. I haven't got details. Details. Oh, am I logged in to my athletic? I'm not. We'll figure that out in a second. Um, pretty much towns and to the Timberwolves for Julius Randle and everybody's favorite. Uh, black voice white man, like Dante, mm -hmm. former, former king, former warrior, you know. Mm. Now I'm in the shades of Dante DiVincenzo on my character. Yeah, there you go. You know, you know. Uh, I was confused at first when this happened. I was confused at first when this happened. Now that I see it, see, it makes a little more sense. I get it from <laughs> Minnesota was trying to get off cast contract. It's an interesting thing to do when you go as deep into the playoffs as you've ever been. Uh, but I don't know. It might work. Y'all got any initial thoughts? I like it for the Knicks. I think. I, I think know. that's a good pickup for the Knicks. I think Towns fits in way better than Julius. With now, I just yeah. I don't know about. Well, I don't know what the Timberwolves plan I'm is. I'm thinking about the only important person in this whole equation. Oh, Ant Man. Yes, sir. Yeah, I don't know what the plan is. I don't know how he's gonna like playing with Julius Randle. What is going like? How's that gonna be? What's 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 the dealio? Oh, that's not another. One. Yeah, so Knicks won. Um, Jalen won. I think they got a squad right now. They got Jalen, Jalen Bridges, Jalen uh, Josh Hart. Yeah. To your question about how it works for Minnesota, I think they eventually start Nas Reed instead of Julius because of that thing you're talking about. Where I don't think Ant's gonna like playing with Julius, so I think Julius becomes six man pretty quick actually, and I think they just. They either try to trade Julius again. Julian's got Julius is locked up for this year. And he has a player option for next year. Um, so I think they try to trade that contract just to save some money, or they just let that nigga walk. We'll see. Damn. Yeah. Next Bring year. him over here. Set town. You want another another big man that can't play no defense? He's a better defender than Sabonis. I should stop it, but he's not a better defender than Sabonis. Oh, he's it's Who's like, not? It's like two people. Huh? Oh, no, I thought you were talking about Julius. Both of them. But like Julius Both of them. Right. Julius is clearly a better defender. Than... Stop, bro. All right. He's, I mean, don't Wait, why you, okay, no, I'm just saying, okay, but why are you doing this? Like, <laughs> I don't understand. you making me defend Sabonis, and then you're making me lose battles. Like, I'm not going to not defend Sabonis. You just blatantly just throw him under the shade. That's not like a shade. That, he's a better. Don't get a twist. You didn't have to involve him in that. You just better. randomly said how he's a better defender than Sabonis for no reason, bro. Well, it was you brought up. You said you wanted Julius on the team. I was just that combination of them two as the front court doesn't work. You know. Let's back up. Let's go back up. Back up, Julius Randle. I like that. He actually is a good backup. So I vibe with that. He actually. ain't going for that, bro. He should, bro. Two K would agree. with Y'all need a center that can play defense, though. That's the issue. Y'all need a lot, but it's okay. So do we. So do we. We do not need a lot. Y'all do. 
No, we don't, bro. We got, we got the more. Wait for this. You don't know. Who I keep forgetting. Be. That's the move y'all made. Yeah, that's not oh, enough. Bro. God. Sorry, bro. That's you not know. gonna be enough. We don't need to I'm gonna avoid the play and maybe I see y'all. This guy don't. The guy a hater, bro. Who? I'm not supporting the Warriors no more. Who me? Jordan Ford, bro. I'm the biggest, bro. I'm the biggest non Kings fan, fan, bro. Oh, no, you're. Not. Yes, I am. You bro. don't like De'Aaron. You De'Aaron didn't like Buddy Hill when we had Buddy. De'Aaron's a bucket, bro. Uh, I like De'Aaron. I want better for De'Aaron. The only player you ever liked right on now. our team was Bogdanovich. Demarcus Cousins, Isaiah Thomas. You just went so far back, bro. You just went so far this back. It's crazy. Deep, this, this is, is how deep it runs. This is what I'm talking about. This is what I'm talking about. This is why I sound I'm the biggest non-Kings fan that's really a fan. You because have to go back I, to Cousins. Yeah, because that's where this all started, bro. Y'all been fucking up since then. Y'all continue. Like, but y'all, y'all, y'all got the beam now. But I'm just saying, <laughs> y'all gotta be like, I don't want y'all to get satisfied with just making the playoffs a couple yeah. times, bro. Because I still don't. I still feel like De'Aaron deserves way better than what y'all been able to do for him. You don't believe in him, though. That's I believe in De'Aaron. I just don't believe in what he has. You don't think he lead him. a team. I don't think he has enough surrounding him. Well, I think he's he'll be a better. I think he needs a number one option. See what it's I'm hard doing. to be a number one option as a point guard. That's just facts. You can't. It, it, he needs a. He needs a serious, real number two, and I, that's where I you just don't think Sabonis is age. really. You can in this day and age, bro. As a point guard, yes. Unless bro. you're Luca, look at what, Luca, Luca Jalen, Steph, Steph Aaron. Um, I'm talking about uh, who's, one, who's one. Who's one? That, that's what I'm saying, bro. It's, it's it's always a lot of point guards who can be the first option, but not a lot of them win. A lot of them don't win. Chris Paul's never won. A, well, Chris Paul's not really a first option, but still, bro, he's carried teams. New Orleans, like he was, like. It's hard to get over the hump as a point guard the We're way that Steph did. We're just trying to get anywhere, bro. I just want different goals. We're trying to we trying to touch. I'm second, trying to see y'all. I'm trying round. to see y'all win a championship. That's where that's why that's why we see it different, bro. I want to see y'all win championships, not just be so I think if we can win them, but bro. I'm trying to see the Kings win championships. That's why I'm so harsh on them. See how much he's a you're going really far to say this lie about how you support the Kings, bro. You do not want to see us win championships. Yes, I you do. You want to see y'all win championships. I think we're finished. Oh, yeah. It's y'all turn, I'm bro. Not, y'all not, got to hold North Cali down, I'm bro. I'm not supporting the Warriors. No more, we bro. finished. I wouldn't support us either. I barely want to support it. Somebody said Stephen Curry plays basketball in nine days. I'm like, oh, I'm not ready for this shit yet, bro. We are not. We, bro. It's going to be your fault. I hate on my team more than the Kings. That's what's crazy. Here's the thing, though. All right, here's the thing, right? De'Aaron got supporting cast now. He got Sabonis and DeMar DeRozan. You don't think if DeMar really pops off this season, you don't think De'Aaron can't really do nothing with that and he less pressure on him. He got somebody now that can score 20. You know, he got two people now who can score 20. He can't. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> he could pass nice. the ball to more people. No, bro. Y'all gotta go that. back to being the best offense in basketball, yeah. like y'all were two years ago. Which this move can definitely do. The issue is again, Jordan just got. It sounds so. Goals. Yeah, the issue is there's there's nothing about your team that screams playoff success because you exactly. can't defend anybody. Because everything you just said sounds. That needs to be the vision mm-hmm. necessarily yet. I, everything you just said sounds so. Open good in theory bro but it's just not enough once you see these three on the court together bro no, i think it's going to see these three i think it's going to be a lot of moments where you're like this is not clicking because who's the number so if they yeah. y'all got demar de rose yes De'Aaron yeah. is now forced to be the number one option yes. again with the demar 100 no, percent De'Aaron is the number one. That's the problem. He they got sure, De'Aaron 100%. a number. They got De'Aaron another number two. So now you got two A and two B. And there's still De'Aaron is still on De'Aaron to be the number one option. And I just don't feel like De'Aaron should have to be the number one option on this team for y'all to go for y'all to go far. If y'all want to keep making the playoffs, you feel me? Here and there, play-ins and all of that. Then just let De'Aaron rock, and he'll he'll be a Kings legend, bro. Don't get me wrong, he'll be a Kings legend. But if y'all want to go far while De'Aaron's still here, like I'm talking conference finals, finals and stuff, it's gonna have to look different. Is De'Aaron gonna need a bucket on his team, 
a real bucket, a number one option bucket. To keep it a buck. Because really, DeMar DeRozan isn't a number two. He's really a number three at this point in his career. And that might sound like hate, but he's getting older, bro. Oh, so wait. now you got a number three as a number two, and then Sabonis is just still here. Sabonis, is Sabonis a might be. Sabonis is a number one. Not win yeah, Sabonis like might be the number one option too. Yeah, because no, Sabonis definitely, definitely is. he's that good on offense. He just yeah, the issues you can't defend anybody. Y'all just need y'all just need yes, a center. Can. He can't. It's okay. It's okay. But it's like he's the number one offense option. Did he average like twenty five and like eight last year? He, he was nothing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you're not gonna win with a. You're not gonna win with Sabonis as your number one option. You you're not to gonna clone, win. You need to clone Serge Ibaka and make him your starting center. Mm. We Make need also good, have yes. issues. Yes, we need a good seven for it. No. We need Wimby. That would help. <laughs> One of these days this is happening. We need Chet. It's a bonus. Yeah. Another season. What record you gonna break this year? What you think? About to break another record. Another triple double record. Triple double record. And the rest. Kings. Hopefully he can break some records in the playoffs, deep in the playoffs. I hope y'all go far in the playoffs this sarcastic. year. That's not sarcasm, bro. Y'all more turned than us, bro. I like watching y'all home games better than ours. Chasing are so dry, bro. Queens, y'all, y'all over there, y'all. Funny, bring me back to the early days, bro, when we first started popping. I just, it just, I just hate that y'all have to be this good now when the West is this thick, bro. Like it's just tough. It's really not y'all fault. It is not our y'all fault. Are, y'all are a great Eastern Conference basketball team. We're a this great team Western in the East, boy. We're about to oh be, my we're god! About to take off, bro. We're, you like about the sarcasm? That's I, not I, sarcasm. We're about bro. to take off, bro. That's a lot of teams. That's a lot of teams in the let's, East. Let's, a lot of teams in the East, boy. Let's let's pick them. Who 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 are the six? Who are the six people not getting in the play? And who are the six West teams now that this trade has happened? Who uh, who's not getting in the, 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 the Rockets? Top six in the West. Start with the Rockets. Top six. Start with the Rockets. You said Rockets. Oh, so top, top, top six in the West. Ain't the Rockets make some moves? They're not going to be. No, oh no, they will start to pop off. They might be better than y'all this season. Okay. I'm just kidding. Let's see what I'm talking about. West be surprised if they're better than the Warriors. They won't be. They won't be like 13 seed. Oh. Uh, All right, Western Conference. I, I got to see the pictures. Who's not making it? Uh, the Jazz, the Rockets, the Blazers. Okay. Jazz, Rockets, Blazers. Good. I think you got to come up with, technically, you got to come up with nine teams that aren't going to make the playoffs, that aren't going to guarantee to make the playoffs. So you said, you said Rockets are not making it? Or you said? Jet Rockets not making it. Rockets, you said Blazers, and you said Jazz. Okay. Yep, those three now making it okay. How much more, more do teams. I need? Six more teams. Because again, to not playing, make it. Yeah, my four of these teams are playing oh, teams, are. but I'm just who's oh, getting yeah. that guaranteed top six actually? Oh man! All right, dang, it's about to get. Oh, it's hard. It gets difficult. Kings Warriors. Because Kings Warriors, Lakers, and Clippers are all in this conversation. I don't know who's in, who's out. So I'm Lakers just... not kind of tanking. Yeah. They got this. They gonna have a good season. Hey, I ain't the top six. Six. Yes. Like right. at six. That's one. Okay, I got you. I don't want to say the king. Oh, the Spurs. Spurs is still there. Spurs is not making it. Yeah, not making it. Okay. There we go. I got Spurs at five. <laughs> As the no, I got seat? Spurs at seven. I don't. Okay. No, no, no. Spurs out the mix. Man, you need like how much more teams you need? You need five more teams to not make the playoffs. Dang. I'm I don't want to say the Pelicans. Pelicans and the Kings. That's tough between. Right, oh, I got OKC locked. Yeah, got, OKC's locked. I got Memphis locked. Who else do I have locked if I had to pick? Got the, uh, I got Minnesota locked. I think I kind of want to keep Minnesota in the mix too, but I'm not sure yet. We already said Denver. Got Dallas I locked. Say Denver. Y'all saying Denver? Denver. Well, they got they looking different this year. I got but Minnesota, I Dallas, Denver locked. Minnesota, Dallas, Denver, and Lakers. So you need Lakers. 
two more. You got to say OKC yet. Two more to not make it or two more to that's like Steve needs yeah. two more to lock in. Yeah, oh, yeah. Okay, so yeah, I got OKC okay, in there. Yeah, I, say, I know you kind of know. That's the only one. You I'm say Phoenix? Right no, nah, y'all ain't know why I said They'll be like 50. Yeah. They'll be like the fifth seed. Damn, who knows? Okay, most people so, are picking yeah. them to win the West, right? Like, clearly, they're really good. Ooh. I don't know if the playoffs are going to come together. Yeah. Who it wasn't. But also, uh, they have Alex Caruso and Hardenstein. Oh, man, Hardenstein's really good. Um, and I got one more, right? Yeah, you need one more. You ain't said... Who have you not said from? I mean, you said the top four, all the teams that made the conference in these last year. You got the Lakers. You haven't said the Suns yet. No, no. Who no, else no. is in this mix? So you said the Warriors, the Clippers, Kings. You haven't said the Kings yet. I I think I'm just going to go with the Kings to keep it a buck. I'll feel it. I'll take that. Minnesota, Dallas, you got to order. I don't know if you got to order. You're going to be you like know. the fourth seed. I like that. Minnesota, Denver, OKC, Kings, Lakers. I got OKC, Memphis. I'm going to put Minnesota next, even though I'm, the trade is making me nervous. Ah, I have no idea where to go from here because I don't believe in Phoenix. Denver is making me nervous, but I'm just this Jokic, so I'm going to put them there. Phoenix and the, and the Spurs are going to be the two playing teams. It's not going to this this be the first time it doesn't involve the Warriors or the fucking Lakers or the fucking Kings in like three years. You don't think we're making the playoffs at all? I'm sorry. I understand. I get it. I understand. We not good. This is the first season I don't have trust in y'all. And I have trust in y'all every single fucking season. I do have trust in y'all, though. Like, if y'all do make the playoffs at this time, because I do have trust in y'all at the same time, because y'all do make the playoffs, bro, I would not be surprised. I really won't. I think there's potential for a Steph psycho season. He, Steph never surprises me when he does but anything anymore. I don't know if that's enough even. I don't even know, bro. We, I got to see us on the floor. I don't even think we know who we starting yet, bro. This is this is about to be a rough season. It's about to be a rough beginning. Y'all might be the only one. Yeah, y'all, y'all might. <sighs> Clay's gone. Shit. Go on, OKC, Memphis, Minnesota, Denver, Mavericks, Pelicans. I kind of want to put the Rockets there, but I'm going to go Pelicans. The Rockets. 13th seed team, the Rockets. It's about to be y'all right. I believe in that run. I believe in the run they went on. I don't know why. The Pelicans. Right. The Pelicans is not only right. Me? Hey. Hey. Got four of them out of the mix. No Rockets, no Blazers, no Jazz, no Spurs. Anybody else you know not making it? Not making top six again. They can still uh, us, the Warriors. The Warriors out the mix, I get it. We're not making it. It's hard to see the top um, six. Four, five. I ain't gonna lie to you. The Kings might not make. We're going all the way. We might get a ring, bro. Yeah, might get his first ring. One, two, three. Thanks four, to DeMar. Five, six. Might be giving the Lakers too much credit, bro. What did they even really do to get better? Nothing. The Bronx got enough year. Last. They did make the plane last year, though, so you know. But yeah, no, nothing. Uh, it's hard, man. You haven't said Clippers yet. Ooh. Either way. You haven't said Suns yet, either way. And not make it? Yeah, to make it or uh, You haven't said either uh, way on the Clippers or the Suns. Yeah. Those are probably two other bubble teams besides the Lakers. The Clippers are going to prove me wrong so bad. Clippers might make it still. Mm -hmm. Clippers make it. I'll take them over the Suns. I don't know about the Suns. Clippers is probably what I should have said over the Kings. Yeah, I kind of like But, you know. I can back though either way, honestly. I'm going to put the Suns at the 6C for you. Have you made a decision on the Lakers yet? Or put the Clippers They're going to make it. They... Lakers the, the Lakers there. making it. They gonna be they gonna be there. They, and then you got the LeBron. So you rounded uh, up Minnesota, Dallas, Denver, OKC. That's your top six. Yes, that sounds right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Damn, bro. I can't believe we not a part of this. Y'all might be. I don't know. Y'all had the worst record. 
Y'all sleeping on Memphis, by the way. I don't know what this is. I don't know what these records are, bro. Oh my God, I don't know what year this is from. This one of our dark years, bro. <laughs> no, I had a few of them dark years, bro. <laughs> Memphis. No, oh, no, God. Memphis, too. Oh. God's just... Who you kicking out? Who you kicking out? Lakers, Clippers are one of the top four. Uh, I'm taking out the Clippers. Put in Memphis. Respect it. Why? Because Jaws back, nice bro. That's over, now over, that's the number over, one option point guard right there. Over Kawhi. That's hate. Kawhi's I ain't not hate. about to be playing basketball this year. What didn't even get cleared to play in the Olympics? Or that's hey, I can't trust because they wasn't trying to work. Like trip. for real, all season. I mean, he'll play. He doesn't know. I'm just. I don't know. This is a James Harden needs to carry season. I think. You gonna you you really got you. What Memphis? You don't believe in Memphis? You don't believe in the nice, Clippers? Man. The Clippers out. Kawhi lost, is lost too unpredictable, and James Harden is also James Harden too old to be carrying a team, bro. They don't. Y'all got too much. They lost ball. Paul George. I don't know, bro. It's looking rough over there. I think we need to do a bet. I think y'all better, better than the Clippers. I, I think now I'm thinking about it, bro. Y'all better than the y'all should be better than the Clippers this season. No, bro, let's do a bet. Um, who's going to do better, the Clippers or the, or the Grizzlies? If you sh- you want to bet on the Clippers for that? Yeah. Let's do it even. Even on. I wouldn't even want to do that. Bro. Come on, bro. That's what? The what was the seeding last year, Mikey? doesn't matter. Grizzlies. Oh, yeah, it doesn't matter. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, no, yeah. I know what you mean. Jaws. That's back, bro. This is the start of his redemption story right here. Clippers. Let's pull this up. The Clippers won. Clippers won 51 games last year. I don't think they're going to be as good. Let me zoom out a little bit. One second. They might be. Uh, and then how much games did Memphis won the year before last? Were they trying yeah, to they... No, 50. Yeah, they won 51 to 31. Same record as the Clippers had last year, two years ago. And the Clippers got worse. And the West got better. So we'll see, actually. I think Ja got rusty. Potentially. 56 and 26 for Memphis the year before that. 21 22. Wasn't ready I think Jordan is scared. Time, no. oh, I'm, I'm ready for the bet already. Right, so yeah. we're going to do it after this. Yeah. I, I like think that. you forgetting what Ja. I like that. I think you forgetting. No, you forget. I think you're the one forgetting about the OGs, bruh. That's what about the that, old Jesus, they owe. Mm, Something like young. Something like young boys. I think I don't – do you want to do this bet before comparing the rosters? I think I want to give you a chance to, like, no, look at the bro, roster yeah. side by no, side. No, I don't want to do none of that. No. <laughs> I don't want to rethink nothing, bro. Don't the I'm, Grizzlies I'm have in. Marcus Smart now? Yeah. Don't who? Don't, we, don't Grizzlies? Yeah, bro. I don't. All right, bro. Hey, I'll do the bet. I think you starting to you gonna second guess this when we get no, we can look at the rosters first, bro. <laughs> I think you need a seat. Like think about the rosters. Stop. <laughs> nah, ain't no more Paul George over there. Nah, that's not needed. That was never. That's the no, J. Cole. Bro, league. who do they have? Who's the? Who is James Harden gonna be passing the ball to? Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Leonard is only gonna play thirty four games. Thirty four wins. He's gonna play like fifty. Timothy, Kawhi, Mo Bamba, Bones Highland, oh, shit. Amir Coffey, Chris Dunn, some dude named Jordan Miller, Terrence. Oh, Miller, I feel like five dudes don't got pictures, bro. What's PJ going Tucker. on this here? Is, their defense bro. is because this is like training camp rosters. There's a lot of niggas that's not getting cut, and that's why they don't got pictures. But you know, it's picture niggas. Bro. PJ, PJ it's back? PJ it's Tucker back? Bucket. Kai Jones, Kai Jones, is, Kai Jones has, some, has had some moments. Nice. Has had some moments. Norman Powell, bro. Norman Powell is Come on, bro. Player. What you talking about? Come on. Let's James Harden might request a uh, might request a trade. Come on, bro. Season, what is bro. these? Are, what is bro, this Nicholas team, bro? Nicholas Batum is over, bro. Oh, Come on, bro. Problematic motherfucker. And Who's that? Oh, Kevin Porter Jr. 
Oh. They got a couple problematic. They've kind of been doing this pick up a problematic motherfucker for a few years now. I don't really get what Bro, this is. This, it, I'm Look, looking bro. at the guarantee. KPJ, oh, man. Harden, Derek Jones Jr., Nicholas Batum. Who is James Harden like? What? And Kai Jones. James Harden, Norman Powell, then, PJ Rebecca. Tucker, uh, I think Terrence Mann, and uh, Zubac. That's your starting lineup. Kawhi in for Terrence Mann when he ever he can start. You know, you never know. Norman Powell is going to be a good Sheck West, bro. That's crazy. Nah, James Harden might request a trade. This, this, this roster is not great. Kawhi is on that bullshit this season, which he most likely is. What, why would James Harden stay at, on this team? Bro, stop. We doing this, but. All right. All right. At least up, you got bro, to see the roster the Grizzlies first. sorry-ass roster, bro. I don't think you want to do that, Pull up the Grizzlies sorry-ass roster, bro. Quit all the foolery. Quit all this foolery, bro. You dogging on the Clippers right now too much. Look at, this. Look at that right there. Kawhi Leonard is all you need to see. Yeah, I need to see him out playing Real, basketball bro. on the court. He's going to be there. A significant amount of games. Look at these no names. No he picks. looked bad in the playoffs last year because he was playing hurt too. I'm sorry. I think it's just something really wrong with him, bro. I don't know where Kawhi's health is. Cam Spencer. This is what we're banking on. Who's that 80 again? Is that the new, who that big dude that they just drafted too? Is it? Look at that. No names, no pictures. Look at this. Who are these people? The youngins, the YNs. Mm -hmm. Scotty Pippen Jr., bro. This is what you were lying on? Vince Williams Jr. This is what we were lying on? Here's some buckets. Here's the real squad right here. 12, Luke Kennard, Shooters, Jaron Jackson, Brandon Clark. That's it. Just Jaron and Brandon and Clark, That's Desmond it. Bang, Marcus. Marcus Smart. Is he even going to be good this year? Yeah, he's going to do his job. Mm, we'll see. Mark is smart. He's getting worse and worse job, every bro. year. No, he's like still years, playing bro. defense. It's all good. That's why he's there. He plays in Dylan Brooks. Yeah, bro. It is. They about this to is, wash the Clippers, I'm, bro. Was I supposed to get, like, intimidated by any of this, bro? It's because they started off with a whole bunch of uh, non-pictures. Non they didn't bro. order that shit, right? They should have put all the big dogs together. Bro, the Clippers went so much harder, bro. Ter they had Terrence, man. The Clippers might be a mess. This look like a team right here. This look like a squad. Uh, John Morant. Desmond Bain. Jaron Jackson is going to be back this season. He... Yeah, bro. Yeah, we definitely doing this, bro. This is uh, this is a robbery. Mm -hmm. Jaron Jackson, Ja, and Marcus Smart. Do you That's remember it. what they were doing when Ja was like how however years old, twenty? Like when everybody thought before. they were the new Warriors, mm -hmm. and everybody said that they was gonna be this and they was gonna be that. Well, Ja's the only one who shit. messed that up. He he had his he went through his shit injuries, but. But if Ja gets injured, we the bet is canceled. Like, no, it man. is not, bro. That's what if Ja doesn't going, play, it's significant. To do you know, this, nah. bro. This is prone nah. to have it, bro. No, no. Nah. 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 Yeah, nah. Nah. If he sits out a significant amount of the season. <laughs> no, no. See how you need to say that part, and I don't. That means that this is well, that's he's just because that's who liability, Kawhi bro. is, though. This is part of the team. I this can't is stop it. I can't team. stop it. Uh, Injury from happening. This is their identity, though, bro. This is what they do. No, nah, he good though. It's liable to happen. Even, I don't even need that insurance, bro. <laughs> it's liable to happen. It's bro. an easy bet. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, bro. We need to bet. Nah, that might have a little too much faith in James Harden. So it's gonna be one of the best defenses in the league, and that's kind of the issue with the Grizzlies. It's just whatever you think about the players. I was muted. I was saying earlier. It's just yeah. It's just Bane's better than everybody besides the stars. Like I take him over Powell. I take him over Man. Taking Marcus Smart over man, I'm taking Ja over everybody besides like Kawhi, maybe J not even James at this point. And this they're gonna lock up Brandon Clark back. I think this is locked down again. Fifty six wins, fifty one wins, and then last year, but they're just they're just a fifty one basketball team. I need to see it. I need to see it again. I feel it. I feel I need to see it again. I'm more intimidated by the Kings and the Clippers. I say that. More intimidated by the Warriors and then the Grizzlies. Whoa. Why? 
Lakers. We actually lost the series to y'all, bro. Is there a safe we'll take, we'll take down, bro. Bring it on. Wait, you can, wait the Grizz, wait the Kings versus the Grizzlies. Bring it on, bro. See how you're not a real Kings fan? No, you said Grizzlies versus Warriors. That's worse. Like the Warriors are not in the same stratosphere as the Grizzlies right now. Y'all beat us so y'all could beat them. Because we could what? Beat them. I'm not saying y'all could. I mean, what can the Warriors beat them in? Basketball? Series. It took yeah. everything them niggas had to beat him last time, and that was like three years ago. Let's see what I, mean. I don't think y'all could beat the Grizzlies. Yeah, it took everything the Warriors had. Like them niggas barely oh, survived the, that series. Warriors. Warriors. Oh yeah, and mm-hmm. they're better, and the Warriors are worse. On on paper, but you know, they see Curry's face. That's all it takes, bro. I see where they start sweating. From. You remind they me a little bit nervous. of our cousin. I feel like there's a lot of people struggling to deal with the fact that the NBA is just transitioning to a different space, and teams like the Thunder and the Grizzlies are just really good, and we have to accept the fact that, like, it's not what it used to be anymore. The old guy's still Well, y'all need to stop hating on your own team, bro. This is a real problem. It's not even That's hate. the only problem going on, team, bro. But... Y'all need to start they need to get better. No, no bro. They, if they want, they need to adapt, bro. And I, what I'm seeing this off season, bro, Curry we are not well. adapting to this new NBA. Y'all have Steph. And Steph Curry. Y'all putting way too much the on Warriors Steph. Warriors are legitimate this year. Steph is an MVP candidate. Draymond's damn near probably a Defensive Player of the Year candidate. And Jonathan Kaminga is probably most improved player. Like all three of those things have to happen for the Warriors to be good. You just named three. You said it's good. The That's players, bro. Like, what if other teams had that? We were talking about those teams, but now y'all have them players, and we y'all just acting like they can't. What? Those are three good players, bro. That's good oh, yeah, enough. No, I'm just saying they That's need to good be the best playing, version of themselves. Take possible. over the world with those three players, bro. They need to be the best There's version 2000. of themselves possible for them to win a championship. And Steph is the only person that has proven he can could step into an NBA season still and be the best version of himself possible. Unless Wiggins wants to average twenty five a game, I believe in you, Wiggs. That's not Wiggs. That's, that's give not me going. twenty. Give me twenty two point five a night. That's what. That's the. Do you see the type of miracles we got to bank on to be good this season? You don't need that to happen. Yes, you we do. Bro. I don't know if Steve Kerr has the ability to let Kaminga pop off the way he needs to. I don't even know if. I don't know what we're doing, bro. I don't. I don't. This team just doesn't fit to me. Maybe I need to see him on the court. We're starting Buddy it, it Hill, just, man. I, We're starting Buddy Hill, man. Yeah, we that's, – that's it's terrible. It's a bucket. Come on, y'all. Moses Moody yes. probably still this isn't about to get part to time. Work. This shit is just... – Come on. Okay, listen. Listen to me. You know for Y'all got the two best shooters in the league. Y'all started winning as soon as y'all traded that dude. Y'all got the that's two true. best shooters. We, that's because of DeMontis. We got two best – y'all got the two True. best shooters in the I'm league, so bro. Good, buddy. Y'all got the two best shooters in the league. Y'all need to look at it that way, that's bro. Not enough. That's a, but, but, but the crazy funny way, part is the Warriors are the only team in the world where they can have the two best shooters in the league, but it's still a downgrade from what they had last year because it's just – for all of Buddy is, he's still not Clay. Hell he's not technically kind of better play. than Clay as a shooter, mm-hmm. if you want to argue at this point in their careers, but still yeah. he's not actually – not actually enough, especially because Buddy. You know what didn't happen to Clay? Clay didn't become unplayable in the playoffs. Buddy Hill couldn't get him off off the bench in the playoffs last year. They just benched that nigga in the East because he wasn't, wasn't with a winning team. Bro. It's gonna be different. He can't play defense be and he can't stay in front of anybody. Yeah, we got a lot of talent though. We got we got talent. I just don't know how it's all gonna fit together. Yeah, we, we might look like some bullshit this nah. season, bro. Nah. Who the hell was that white man? I'm taking my. Can I change my list? Take put the put the Warriors in there. Hey, number eight, weeks. number eight, Warriors number eight. Oh, I was just saying we picking the top six, but I got you, Warriors playing lock in. I, I agree with you there. That's where I think the Warriors and the, that's where the Warriors exist. Potential play winning it, and they are winning that. Because they don't know how to get. That's the problem with the plan is that you can't like. There have been years I thought the Warriors could have won the championship, but you're in the plan. If you lose that fucking game, you don't get to try anymore. You know. That's why you need to avoid it. And these niggas are not good enough to avoid it. You know, you've been on that side of the playing shit too. Y'all was yeah. good. There was nothing separating us, us, y'all, and the Lakers really by the end of the season. But it's just, you know, it's how the games went. Mm-hmm. Y'all could have beat the Lakers in the playing game if y'all would have beat us. But, you know, it just goes weird. Is that how that went? Who the and y'all could have beat the Pelicans. And y'all could have beat the Pelicans. 
Yeah, that's what I meant. You know what I mean. There you go. That's what I was talking about. Mm-hmm. Wait, is that what happened last year? Did the Warriors lose to the Pelicans without Zion? Did y'all lose to the Pelicans? No, we lost to the they Pelicans. Lost to the, oh, yeah, y'all y'all beat the Pelicans. No. And then y'all lost to... No way, I can't the that. Warriors, and then we beat... No, wait, what happened? Holy shit. Yeah, I remember. We lost to the Pels. I know that. Yeah. I don't know who y'all lost to. Because then the we... Pels lost to the Lakers. Yeah, we, we didn't lose to y'all, y'all to the Lakers. Lakers. No, we lost Yeah, to we y'all. beat y'all. Yeah, we lost to y'all. And then we lost to the Pels. And That's what it was. The yeah. Pels lost to the Lakers. That's what it was. And bro. y'all could have beat the Le- y'all could have beat the Pels, bro. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, no, that's what it was. The Pels work. The Pels had y'all number all season. I bet yeah. on y'all. We lost every game. Yeah. We lost every game of the season to the Pels. I thought it was going to be redemption. Me too. Uh, they all just brought me back now. Fuck. Yeah. I can't bet on y'all no more, bro. <laughs> we lost 92 to it. Whoa. I was watching that shit in Vegas, boy. Hot. Hmm. <clears throat> That's what the Kings do, bro. They disappoint. Raiders, too. Raiders disappoint. We got Gardner Minshew as our quarterback right now, bro. Oh, yeah. No more teams in Oakland. No more teams. The last one's gone. It's tough, man. End of an era. I don't know if anybody's coming back. What? Okay, but I don't understand how that works because they're – how much millions of dollars was the Raiders and – the Warriors and the A's bringing to the city and tourism and ticket sales or whatever, how, however that works. Like, so the way it goes, how much millions of dollars were they bringing into the city? Doesn't profit off no more. Like, how is Oakland not just going to go to shambles? Because that had to be so much fucking money, right? Oh, wow, it's kind of the opposite, low key. It's kind of, yeah. it's like, that's kind of how it gets sold, is how the team exists to build up the marketplace. But like, it's the reason the Kings almost left is, like, reality is owners hold team like, owners hold team cities feet to the fire and say, we're going to leave unless you pay for our stadium, even though they should just pay for their billionaires, that should pay for the stadium themselves. And Oakland's kind of like, nah, fuck that shit. We're not building y'all stadium for you. We're not, like, going to, because, like, apparently, like, the A's just paid them back for this fucking stadium. Like, the where they're at now, like, they just finished paying the city back for the last one. And that's mm-hmm. not even like talking about full. The city put in money that's just like not a loan, just like money that they're never getting back. But it's like, that's yeah, crazy. this reason, like, if Lakeup was owning the A's, they would still be in Oakland or maybe move to San Francisco mm-hmm. because he just would have paid. Like, they paid for, like, the, uh, what's the face? The Warriors paid for their arena. You know, they paid for Chase Center. They didn't force the city to pay for it. Yeah. But what happens is, like, they, the Kings got fucked that way, too. Like, the Sacramento ended up paying a lot for that arena. Um, just because the owners were kind of like, or just they were in this state of influx and they were kind of like, NBA, the NBA was essentially like, hey, this team can get taken to Seattle if the city don't kind of cough up some money to build this arena. And it's just, it's a really fucked up practice that these rich owners are kind of pulling where it's like, you guys are being billionaires, you have enough money to build a stadium on your mm-hmm. own, and instead you're going to try to take like literally half a billion dollars from the city to make it happen type shit, so. yeah. It's Damn, a, I didn't realize it was like that. Yeah, no. I didn't no. realize that was pain. The, the city was the one's pain. That's mainly. Yeah, no. It's usually how it goes. Usually they just threaten. Like Kansas City with the Chiefs kind of in the same space where, like, the owners will just threaten to leave Kansas City and Kansas. Like, to your point, like, Kansas City will think about it. It's like, oh, our city isn't a relevant city without the Chiefs. You know what I mean? Like, that, they kind of make yeah. us what we are. So we're going to cash out. But, yeah, Oakland's kind of like, fuck that shit. Yeah. Okay. Which I understand. All right. That so, makes more sense on how they going to last. Okay. Because I was like, damn, what are they just going to – they just going to fall apart. Yeah. No, but okay, no. that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. No, if anything, it puts the city – usually usually keeping a stadium puts the city in a bad spot just financially. Unless yeah. The team, unless the team just pays for the shit themselves, which, again, rare occurrence. It's only in American sports, too. This shit don't happen in other, other countries. Just in the U.S., the niggas be like, oh – I can I can get a I can get a billion dollar stadium built for free. Yeah. Even though I'm a billion, even though I got money like that. Yeah, that's crazy. I had no idea. God damn. Yeah. Hmm. Wild stuff, man. That's definitely wild. That's man. Yeah. Man. Yeah, Oakland done, man. Let's see. Y'all go out oh. there and support the Oakland roots, Oakland ballers, and shit like that. That's, yes. that's all we got left. Let's see. Right. That's a good, that's a good, that's a good. Yeah. 
That's a good point, yo. You guys, you was gonna say something? Nah, I was saying, I was, I was about to say what you said. GG. Yeah, that was a good point. How long was that? We had 220. I probably recorded for about five minutes before we started. So, yeah, we had a good two, you know, 205, yes. about 210. That's solid. Yeah. Uh, Y'all got any input? Got anything I want to um, throw out there in the world? Anything about Lotto? Lotto versus Cardi. I was just about to say, hey, I'm posting that segment. Come on. Let's see. Cardi, <laughs> Lotto wouldn't even want bro. to smoke. Lotto would not even want to smoke. Right, I think uh, he's playing else? with Lotto a little bit, bro. We ain't been hearing this new Lotto I've been hearing. Hey. She need to start with Ice Spice. That's her. That's her. She that's her body first Ice Spice. That's not even fair, bro. <laughs> that's her first rival, but she need to get past that. I like to see it. <laughs> Too much podcast, episode 32. Lotto versus Cardi B. Yeah, yeah. Cardi B defeats her. Fatality. Yes, we out. <laughs>